Want to speak real Cantonese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at CantoneseClass101.com. Want to finally start speaking in your target language? In this guide, you'll discover the top seven ways to practice speaking on your own with our lessons. Let's begin. Number one, shadowing. Shadowing is a proven learning technique where all you do is repeat what you hear in order to practice speaking. So access any audio or video lesson on the site and press the play button to start. Then as you listen or watch, just repeat the conversations or even easier, read along out loud with the dialogue section. The script is right there in front of you. With our lessons, you can master entire conversations just like that. Number two, read out loud. I just mentioned it, but reading out loud is another powerful tactic and deserves its own mention. With every lesson, you get written transcripts and translations. So as you play the lesson, read the dialogue out loud as you hear it. Why? By reading out loud, you're also practicing your speaking skills. You can do this with the lesson notes, the lesson transcript, or the dialogue tool. With the dialogue tool, you can listen to each line again and again, and repeat out loud until you master them all. Number three, speed up your reading to speed up your speaking. Being able to speak without thinking is a sign of language mastery. If you're talking to a native and can respond quickly, they'll assume that you're fairly fluent. How can you do this? When you read out loud, try increasing your speed a little bit every time. So start by reading with the dialogue tool. If you're like most learners, you'll read the first line slowly. That's because you're still getting used to the words, which is okay. Reread it. On your second try, you know most of the words and you'll read a little faster. Reread it again. On your third try, you'll be even faster at a native speaker's speed. And being able to read these phrases out loud and fast will help you speak fast. Number four, record and compare yourself with native speakers. In order to sound like a native speaker, you must imitate native speakers. So here's how. Access the voice recorder, which is in the dialogue study tool in every lesson. Click on the microphone icon, listen to the native speaker's audio, and then record yourself. You can then compare the two recordings side by side and practice and try again and again until you perfect your pronunciation. Number five, get feedback from our Premium Plus teacher. If you're learning by yourself and don't have access to real teachers, then you can always get feedback from our Premium Plus teachers. With the My Teacher tool, you can record yourself speaking and send the audio file to the teacher. They'll review it and tell you what to improve and how. That's it. Number six, level up your speaking with Premium Plus assignments. With Premium Plus, you can also get assignments that cover reading, writing, listening, and even speaking from your teacher. These assignments can be tailored to your goals and needs. You get a new one every week or anytime you're ready for a new one. Number seven, get even more lessons in the lesson library. If you want even more lessons on speaking and conversations, visit our lesson library and under category, choose conversation. You'll get all of the pathways and lessons that are focused on speaking. Hi, welcome to Cantonese Top Words. I'm Olivia and today we're going to talk about top 25 nouns. So here we go. Yan is a human, people, person, Yan. Like you and I, we're all Yan. Nam Yan is man or male. It's actually the word for male, Nam, combined with the word for people, so Yan. So Nam Yan is man. Nu Yan, female or women. So people or person is Yan. And a woman is Nu Yan. So water. That's something all of us would need, right? Water. So. I'm so thirsty, I want some water. Fan is uh, literally rice, but we can also refer to meals because in, in China, we eat rice for every meal, pretty much. Like chao fan, fried rice. Fried chao and fan, rice. Chao fan. Do you like eating rice? Cafe is coffee. It kind of sounds like coffee, right? Cafe. 
茶 tea. So coffee or tea. Cafe 定茶 Cafe 茶 Cafe 茶 Cafe 定茶 I like both. Actually, in Hong Kong, they have a special drink, which is a combination of coffee and tea, and milk. It's called Yin Yang. Try it if you have time. Ngao Yo Beef, literally cow meat. So Yo is meat, and Ngao is cow. So cow meat Ngao Yo. Ju Yo. So you hear the meat again. That is pork. Ju is、uh, pig. So Ju Yo is pork. The pig meat, ju yo, gai yo is chicken, and gai is chicken, so chicken meat, gai yo is what we eat. Zhao dim are hotels. We stay at the hotel when we travel, right? And now when you go to Hong Kong and you need to look for a hotel, you can ask people. Zhao dim hai bin ah, where is the hotel? Chan Tang is restaurant. Restaurant is where we go to eat, and in Hong Kong they have a lot of restaurants. If you want to go to say、um, Indian restaurant, <laughs> and you want to ask someone where is the closest Indian restaurant, you can ask 最近嘅印度餐厅喺边 or just say 印度餐厅 is Indian restaurant. 机场 is airport. The airport is around twenty minutes away from. City, with the airport express, it's very convenient to get to and from the the airport. 去机场搭飞机，飞机 is airplane. 去机场搭飞机，啊、uh, ，go to the airport to take a flight to take the airplane to take a flight. 洗手间 washroom or bathroom. 洗手间 literally 洗手 is to wash hands. Like 洗 is wash. Sao is hand, gan is like the room. So, sai sao gan is where we wash our hands, washroom. Sai sao gan hai bin ah, sai sao gan hai bin ah. Where's the washroom? Chi sao, chi sao is toilet. It's a more colloquial way to say washroom. So you can either use sai sao gan or chi sao, and people will still understand that you're looking for the washroom. Ke hui jiao chi sao, ke hui jiao chi sao. He's not here. He went to the bathroom. Qi zi, qi zi is toilet paper. It's a very important item, right? So we take the first word qi and add paper zi behind it. So qi zi, toilet paper. 冇晒厕纸啊，点算啊 ？All the toilet paper are gone. What should we do? Oh no! Day t is metro or subway. It's a very common public transportation in Hong Kong. They take in Hong Kong the subway is called MTR for Mass Transit Railway. So it's very convenient and it's the fastest, usually the fastest way to get around Hong Kong. They take the whole big. It's very crowded in the subway. Yeah, usually that happens during rush hours, so be careful. Taxi, taxi is taxi. It sounds similar. It's actually a loan word from English taxi. Taxi, why taxi? That's how you can call a taxi on the street. There are a lot of taxis around Hong Kong. Ta car, a car, a vehicle. Ta, do you know how to drive a car? 你识唔识揸车啊 ？Okay, home or house. 嗯，我翻屋企啦。I'm going home. 书 or books. 我睇書 ，I read books. 書公司 is office or company. 我公司喺中環 ，my office is in Central. 老闆 is boss. 今日老闆會嚟，你醒定啲啊。The big boss is gonna come visit today, or the boss is coming today. You better behave. 警察 is police. 警察。If you need any help, there should be a lot of police around town, and you can ask for help. 快啲叫警察 Call nine 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 to ask for the police. Triple nine. 医生 doctor. If you ever fell sick in Hong Kong, you have to go see a doctor. 要睇医生 to go to see a doctor. 睇医生 So that's all twenty five common nouns in Cantonese. I hope you enjoyed it. 
If you want to check out more Cantonese videos, please subscribe. And I'll see you next time in more Cantonese videos. Bye! Hi guys! Hi everybody! Welcome back to Cantonese Top Words. Today we're going to talk about top 25 Cantonese adjectives. Let's go! Ho, good, well, I am a good person. Yes, I am. Die is big. Your house is so big. Sai small or little tiny sai. Not my eyes are very small. Chang Long Chang Chan Long hair Chang Dun short. Not this Let's talk about me. Everything about me. Yit hot. Today the weather is very hot. Dong is cold. I don't like to turn on air conditioner because it gets cold. It gets too cold. And it's bad for the environment. Pang Pang is cheap. When you go to a market, people will tell you to Come over here, check it out. Things are really cheap here. It's like Pang. Ho Pang ah, ho Pang ah. Go lei tai ah, ho Pang ah. Things are really cheap here. Come take a look. Guai is expensive. Guai. Hong Kong di lao ho guai. Apartments in Hong Kong are very expensive. It's. It's sad. Nan. It's difficult. Nan. Fa man ho nan. French is difficult. Shen ne se gua. Shen ne se pa. Learn Cantonese with me is very easy. Fai fast. About the whole fai, I run really fast. Fai man. Slow man. I like the concept of slow living. No jong yi man would get koi nim. Sun new. Sun. Happy New Year! Old. My house is really old. Throw away all your old clothing. <laughs> Clear up space for new clothes. Lang, beautiful. Lang, Lam Gayan, Ho Lang. Karina Lam is very beautiful. Karina Lam is a Hong Kong actress. You can check out her movies. What the ugly. What that? There's also another Hong Kong actor who is famous for being ugly. His name is uh, Bobby Yip. He just have an iconic face of being an ugly guy in the movies. Yao Yong, useful. Yao Yong, Hong Kong Yu, Hou Yao Yong. Learning a new language is very useful. Mo Yong, useless. Mo Yong, 一定唔可以做个冇用嘅人。We must not become a useless person. We must not become an incompetent person. The bao is full. So after every meal, we say ho bao. Ho bao a. We only use bao for the stomach. Tou ngo. Hungry. Before every meal, I say ho tou ngo. Ho tou ngo. Hoi sam. Happy. I'm so happy. Ho hoi sam a. So happy. Hoi sam. Which is cute. When you see a cute puppy, will scream like "Ho da ya, ho da ya, so cute." Moon, boring. Moon. My teenage cousin always say "Ho moon, so boring." Ho moon, goy, tired. I look just at the pin. Ho goy. I'm tired after recording these videos. No, just kidding. I love it. So these are the top 25 Cantonese adjectives that we use all the time. Try to make a sentence with it and put it in the comments. Please subscribe and check out the word lists from our website, CantoneseClass101.com. See you next time. Bye! Hi watchers! Welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Today we're going to talk about 15 favorite words chosen by fans. By you guys. So let's start. Momentai. Momentai is no problem, no problemo. And how my ball logic got there? Momentai, can you hold this back for me? No problem. Yamantai, is there any question? 
Mo man tayo is no problem. So yaman man tayo is there is a problem. But since it's a question, so is there any problem? May check in do wo yaman man tayo? You cannot check in now. Is there any problem? Hai zan ga. It's true. Hai zan ga. For example, if someone tells you a secret and you don't believe it, and then you say, I don't believe it, and the, the other person will say, Hai zan ga. It's true. Believe me. It's true. Nom san. I don't believe it. Hai zan ga. It's true. Mu hai nei gu. Of course. It's uh, quite a casual phrase, probably from a Stephen Chow movie. Stephen Chow is a very famous director, a Hong Kong director, and there are a lot of funny movies, and he would say phrases that everyone catch on. Wow, you really become a policeman. It's on the how do you get My name of course. It's full of confidence. It's ridiculous. If something's not going smoothly, something's not going according to what they expected, they would say, Sorry, we lost your luggage. It's ridiculous. What is it? Usually we say with the very innocent voice. Melika, what is it? If I see something like this and I don't know the Cantonese word for it or I don't know what it is, I'll say Melika, what is it? It's a handkerchief. Hai sao gan zai. Qin. Qin is money. Money qin. No mo qin. I don't have any money. <laughs> Why are you like this? If someone suddenly changed the attitude towards you, you can say to find out what's wrong. <laughs> Why the change in attitude? Lang, Lang is beautiful or pretty. That woman is beautiful. Awesome. For example, the airline decided to upgrade you to first class. So you say, we're getting upgraded to first class. Awesome! Zang ah! Cafe, coffee. Cafe, I guess a lot of you love coffee, right? That's why you choose your favorite Cantonese word as coffee. I drink coffee every morning. It's actually not true. I'm, I love coffee, but I'm intolerant to caffeine, so I can only have a little bit some, once in a while. Neho, hello, Neho. It's a very friendly phrase. Usually, the first phrase people learn when they learn Cantonese. Neho, pang yao, pang yao, friend, pang yao. Hello, friend. Neho, pang yao, pang yao, neho. Hello, friend. Ngo tong pang yao hoi loi hang. I'm traveling with a friend. Tao wan. Tao is head. Wan is dizzy. So, having dizziness, tao wan. I get dizzy when I'm on a ship. Yeah, I would hate it if I get motion sickness that easy. Gin Hong, healthy. Gin Hong. Sun Tai Gin Hong, good health. We can wish people to have a good health. Say, Zhongnei Sun Tai Gin Hong, I wish you good health. Ngao Hong Gin Hong, I'm very healthy. Yeah. So that's it for today. We talked about 15 favorite Cantonese words chosen by fans. And, um, you can check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com Please subscribe to our channel and I'll see you next time in other Cantonese videos. I'm Olivia. Bye! Hi guys, welcome to Top Cantonese Words. Cantonese Top Words. Top Cantonese Words. Today we're going to talk about the 10 hardest words to pronounce. And obviously, I can't pronounce anything now. 10 hardest words to pronounce in Cantonese. All right, let's start. Tang, it means orange, but some people might find it difficult because the N has a little NG, so it's a, a bit of nasal sound. Tang, Tang, I like Tang, I eat an orange. Nan, it's not, Nan, it means difficult and it's difficult to pronounce. So it start with N and ends with another N. Nan. And it's in a low tone, so nan. Practice and you can get there. Gong dong wa nan. 
<laughs> Cantonese is not difficult. Bui zhe, bui zhe is the back. Bui zhe, oh bui zhe, hou tong. My back is in pain. Bui zhe, zhe, bui zhe. Chang chang is long chang. Chang tao fa chang. And it ends with another ng. So chang, um, chang. Sang. So sang is to want to think. Sang. It ends with another ng. Sang, sang. Ngo, ng o. Ah, ngo. Sometimes we get lazy and we just say ngo. O, o, like o, o sound in sound and g o, o, ngo or o. Can you tell the difference? I'm starting to sound like a goose. Ngo hai Olivia. I'm Olivia. Sun tai, sun tai is the body. Sun is like sun in the sky. Sun tai, sun tai kian hong to have good health, like good body, healthy, healthy body. Ya, ya is medicine. That's something you need when you are when your sun tie is not healthy. Yeah, ban jiao zhe you sick. Yeah, when you're sick, you have to take medicine. Zap to incorporate. Zap. Don't pronounce it like zap. Hong Kong hold on dai zap to. There are a lot of large corporates in Hong Kong. Fu fu is bitter. If it's the second tone, that's hard to pronounce. Like fu. It's kind of like when you ask is the parking lot full. <laughs> so that's it for today. Today we talked about the ten hardest words to pronounce in Cantonese. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time in other Cantonese videos. You can check the word list on CantoneseClass101.com and practice the pronunciation and speak it out loud. That really helps. I'll see you next time. I'm Olivia. Bye. Hi guys. Welcome to. Top Cantonese words, Cantonese top words, top Cantonese words. Today we're going to talk about the ten hardest words to pronounce, and obviously, I can't pronounce anything now. Ten hardest words to pronounce in Cantonese. All right, let's start. Chang, it's it means orange, but some people might find it difficult because the end has a little ng, so it's. Na a bit of nasal sound, chang, chang. Now say chang. I eat an orange. Nan is not nan. It means difficult, and it's difficult to pronounce. So it start with n and ends with another n. Nan, and it's in a low tone, so nan. Practice, and you can get there. Gong dong wa nan. Cantonese is not difficult. <laughs> Bui zhe, bui zhe is the back. Bui zhe, oh bui zhe, hou tong. My back is in pain. Bui zhe, zhe, bui zhe. Chang chang is long chang. Chang tao fa chang. And it ends with another ng. So chang, um, chang. Sang. So sang is to want to think. Sang. It ends with another ng. Sang, sang, ngo, ngo, ah ngo. Sometimes we get lazy and we just say ngo, o, o, like o, o sound in sound ngo, o, ngo or o. Can you tell the difference? I'm starting to sound like a goose. Ngo hai Olivia. I'm Olivia. Sun tai, sun tai is the body. Sun is like. Sun in the sky. Sun, tai, sun tai kian hong to have good health, like good body, healthy, healthy body. Ya, ya is medicine. That's something you need when you are when your sun tai is not healthy. Ya, ban jiao zhe you sick. Ya, when you're sick, you have to take medicine. Zap to incorporate. Zap. Don't pronounce it like zap. Hong Kong hold on dai zap to. There are a lot of large corporates in Hong Kong. Fu, fu is bitter. If it's the second tone, that's hard to pronounce. Like fu, it's kind of like when you ask is the parking lot full. <laughs> so that's it for today. Today we talked about the ten hardest words to pronounce in Cantonese. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time in other Cantonese videos. You can check the word list on CantoneseClass101.com. 
and practice the pronunciation and speak it out loud. That really helps. I'll see you next time. I'm Olivia. Bye. Hello. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to CantoneseClass101.com's Cantonese Top Words. Today, we're going to talk about 10 questions you should know. Let's start. Nehoma, how are you? Nehoma, we use it just like, how are you? Uh, especially when we're catching up with our friends. So it's more like um, casual greetings. Nekyo man, man. What's your name? Nekyo man, man. Man is name. So Nekyo man, man. What's your name? No hi, Olivia. Niko hai, man. What is it? Niko hai, man. Say you don't know what it is or what it's called in Cantonese. You say Niko hai, man. What? What is it? When is your birthday? My birthday is in January. Tell us your birthday in the comment section, please. Where do you live? is the verb to live. So, I live in Hong Kong. I live in Japan. And so on. Where do you live? Tell us. How old are you? is like years old. But it's not very common to ask people they are especially female. Maybe for kids and elderly, seniors, you can ask them, how old are you? Have you ever been to Hong Kong? Hong Kong is Hong Kong, so you can substitute it with other country names. Have you ever been to Japan? Have you ever been to Thailand? And this is Thailand, by the way. Where is the washroom? Very important question you need to know. Nei ge de hou ding What's your phone number? Nei ge de hou ding wa. Ding wa is telephone, but in this case, it means, uh, everybody understands that it means phone number. If you need to contact someone, ask for their phone number. Nei hai bin dou hao guang dong wa. Where did you learn Cantonese? Nei hai bin dou hao guang dong wa. Of course, now you have to tell people you're learning from CantoneseClass101.com. That's it for today. Today we talked about 10 questions you should know. Please subscribe, leave a comment, check out CandidatesClass101.com for the work list. And I'll see you next time. I'm Olivia. Bye! Hi guys! Welcome back to Cantonese Top Words. Today we're going to talk about 10 lines you need for introducing yourself. My name is, I'm how old, uh, whatever. Let's start! My name is Olivia. My name is Olivia. Superman. My name is Superman. Or you can say that means I am. So Olivia. I am Olivia. Or I'm called Olivia. I'm called Olivia. Please practice and introduce yourself in the comment section. I come from Hong Kong. I come from Hong Kong. I come from Canada. I come from Mars. I live in It's literally I live in I live in Causeway Bay. That's a district in Hong Kong. I live in Berlin. I live in Brazil. Or you can just put a place. I live in a cave. I'm a caveman. <laughs> I have been learning Cantonese for one year. I have been learning Cantonese one year. Or some people who are really fluent and you ask, How long have you been studying Cantonese? Maybe they'll say, Ten years, something. I Cantonese Class 101.com. I learned Cantonese at Cantonese Class 101.com. Where else? <laughs> or you're watching our YouTube videos, then you can tell people, I learn Cantonese at YouTube. I'm 26 years old. I'm 12 years old. Some kid might come up to tell you. No, Sam, so I'm three years old. Yeah, usually people do this. No, I'm a teacher. Now you tell people your occupation or what you do for a living. 
，我係一個教師 ，I'm a teacher， 教師 is teacher。我係一個消防員 ，I'm a firefighter。我係一個醫生 ，I'm a doctor。What are you? What do you do? Tell us。我其中一個嗜好係跳舞。One of my hobbies is to dance. 我其中一個嗜好係跳舞。<笑> I don't know. 我中意聽音樂。I enjoy listening to music. 音樂 is music. What's your favorite type of music? You start with 我中意 is like I like. I can say 我中意去旅行。I enjoy traveling. 去旅行 is traveling. And you can say 我中意學廣東話。I enjoy learning Cantonese. With me, Olivia. 好高興認識你。Nice to meet you. 好高興認識你 is a bit formal. 好高興 means very happy. 認識你 is to meet you, to make you an acquaintance. If it's a more casual situation, you can say 好開心識到你。好開心 very happy. 識到你 to know you. So it's I'm very happy to have known you. 好開心識到你。So that's it for today. Those are the ten lines you need for introducing yourself. Please check out the word list from CantoneseClass101.com and、uh, introduce yourself with Cantonese and write it in the comments. Subscribe so you can see more of our videos. I'll see you next time. I'm Olivia. No, hi Olivia. Hachigin. See you next time. Bye. Hi everyone. I'm Olivia. Today we're in Thailand. And on the ocean, but we're going to talk about ten phrases you always want to hear. Let's see what they are. First one is, "Hey, today is very good. You look great today. Today is today. Good is kind of like lively, but in general, great, like good. So, today is very good. If you see someone that has a glow in their face, you can tell them, "Hey, today is very good. Today is very good." 我帶咗啲特別嘢俾你。I bought you something special. It's always nice to receive gifts and special gifts, I guess, for everyone. 我帶咗啲特別嘢俾你。I bought, I brought you something special. Maybe for anniversary? Well, no, not anniversary. It's is no, is the best if it's not anniversary or birthday or anything. Just a surprise gift, not surprise. It's even normal. Gift. I brought you something special. It's a very nice gesture that you can do for anyone. Nei gan da am. You were right. Nei gan da am. You were right. Literally, you spoke correctly. So nei gan da am. You were right. Whatever you said was right. That's usually what a guy has to say to stop arguing with the girlfriend. So nei yang la. You win. Yang is win, so you win. That is always something you wanna hear. You won the lottery. They yang jiao luck hap chai. Luck hap chai is lottery in Hong Kong. It's the name of the lottery in Hong Kong. They yang jiao luck hap chai tao jiao. What are you going to buy if you won the lottery? Tell us in the comment section, please. Yao xi hao gan mei wei cheng ge. Take a break. I'll do the cleaning today. That's very nice. If the roommate or your spouse or your family do that, that's awesome. Can you clean my place for me? You are a very good cook. You are an excellent cook. You are a very good cook. You are an excellent cook. You are a very good cook. You are an excellent cook. You are a very good cook. You are an excellent cook. You are a very good cook. You are an excellent cook. You are a very good cook. You are an excellent 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 cook. 今個月底 is this is the end of this month. 獎金 is bonus. So who doesn't want a bonus, right? 你做得好好啊 ！You did a great job. 你做得好好啊 ！I always give compliment on whatever people do for you. Doesn't cost anything to say a compliment, right? Always show gratitude. 我掛住你 ，I miss you. 我好掛住你 ，I miss you very much. Literally, it is by. Wa is the verb to hang, so it's kind of like I hang you up. <laughs> Maybe you hang someone in the in your heart. You can think of it that way. So I miss you. You soon hai mo han. The budget is unlimited. You soon is budget and unlimited is mo han. Spend all you want, but. 
do it correctly, do it rightly. So that's it for today. Today we talked about 10 phrases you always want to hear. Can you think of any phrases that people would always want to hear? Leave us a comment, subscribe, check out cantoneseclass101.com and I'll see you next time in other Cantonese videos. Bye, I'm Olivia. Hi everybody, I'm Olivia. Welcome to Cantonese Top Works. Today we're going to talk about 10 phrases you never want to hear. Let's start. <laughs> Have you gained weight lately? Have you gained weight recently? Joygan is recently and fei is fat. Sorry, I forgot about it. That's never a good thing to have someone forget what they promised to do. Thank you for your resume. However, the position has been filled. That really sucks when you go to a job interview and then found out the position has been filled, right? We need to talk. That's never a good start when someone say that to you. I don't have your money today. I don't usually like to lend people money because that's what I hate to ask them back for their money. I don't want to borrow anyone's money. I don't have the money for you today. We should see other people. That's terrible. We never really say that. Pato is to date or like to see other people or to see someone, to date someone. It's not you, it's me. Mantai is problem. So it's literally, it's not yours, but it's my problem. The problem is on me. It's like it's not your fault or it's not your it's not related to you, it's not your business. I told you so. Yeah, that's one of the most annoying things to hear someone say. You have a grey hair. I hate to find grey hair. You're fired. Literally, you don't have to come to work anymore, but in English, you just say you're fired. I hope you won't get fired. Work hard, be a good employee. And that's it for today. Today, we talked about 10 phrases you never want to hear. I hope you've never heard of any of those. And I'll see you next time in other Cantonese videos. I'm Olivia. Please subscribe. Tell us what kind of sentences you don't want to hear. See you next time. Bye! Hi, guys. Welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Today we are going to talk about top 10 phrases that make you look like a fool. These are the phrases that you need to know if you want to sound like a fool. <laughs> so pay attention, don't say any of these. I know everything. I know everything. Nobody really knows everything, right? And uh, anyone you meet, they know something that you don't, so respect. Just do what I say. Literally, I call, then you do it. Or I say it, then you do it. So just do what I say. If I'm the boss, I'm just gonna tell uh, the staff. Just do what I say. Yes, yes, you're the boss. You'll never succeed. That's so sad. Why would you say that? Don't say that to anyone. Don't say that to yourself. Don't say that to your friends or family. Don't say that to anyone. I'm right and you're wrong. I'm right and you're is correct. is wrong. So I'm right and you're wrong. Correct them nicely if they said something wrong. But don't say That's too blunt. We can't do that. We can't do that. Nothing is impossible. Try your best. <laughs> Don't give up at the beginning. Yeah. Well, unless it's something illegal. I don't need to learn anything anymore. I don't need to learn anything anymore. Life is about always learning. You're always asking questions, always learning new stuff. So embrace the new knowledge and be happy. <laughs>
你唔夠醒 ，You're not very smart， 你唔夠醒 ，Literally you're not smart enough。Studies say that people who are not smart tend to think that they are smarter than other people. If you say that, that means you're not very smart. Thailand, ah, see, don't say see. It's too hard. Don't even try. If someone wants to learn French and you tell them Thailand, ah, see, don't say see. You don't even need to try it. Then that's sad because French is a very nice language, even though it's difficult. No, I'm so you need your opinion. I don't need your advice. 我唔需要你嘅意見，需要 is to need necessary。我唔需要 is I don't need。你嘅意見 your advice。意見 is advice or suggestions or idea。I don't need your advice。That's usually what teenagers say, right? They always say I don't need your advice, and then they end up doing the same thing as the parents。我未準備好去學廣東話。I'm not ready to learn Cantonese。I'm not ready to learn Cantonese. That's silly. You don't really need to be ready. You just take faith and take a leap, and we'll help you to learn Cantonese. So don't worry. <laughs> so that's it for today. Today we talk about top ten phrases that make you look like a fool. Please don't say any of those. If you can think of any more, leave us a comment and please subscribe. Check out CantoneseClass101.com for the word list and other Cantonese videos. I'm Olivia. See you next time. Bye. Hi guys. Welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Today we're going to talk about top ten phrases to amaze native speakers. So now you can make some、uh, Cantonese speakers with your brilliant Cantonese skills. Let's go. 我学咗广东话十年 I have been learning Cantonese for ten years. Wow, ten years. That's a lot. I mean, ten years ago, not a lot of people knows about Cantonese. Usually, they just thought it was just Chinese. And how long have you been learning Cantonese? Let us know in the comments. The Guangdong Hua are 全部自学噶 I'm learning Cantonese all by myself. The Guangdong Hua 我全部自学噶 I'm learning Cantonese all by myself. That's brilliant. I mean, you need a lot of self-discipline to learn a language. I've been trying. <laughs> I guess it's more common nowadays with the internet and the apps. And、everything. By the way, download our apps. 除咗廣東話，我仲識其他幾個語言。Apart from knowing Cantonese, I can speak a few other languages as well. So that makes you what? Bilingual, trilingual, quadlingual? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's really cool. They heard. They said that the more languages you speak, the more open you are to new ideas. How many languages can you speak? So, if you want to tell people which languages you know, you can say,、um, 除咗廣東話，我仲識日文同德文。Other than Cantonese, I can also speak Japanese and German. 我睇港產片可以唔使字幕。I can watch Cantonese movies without subtitles. That's great. That's one of my goals when I'm learning a language to not have to read the subtitles. When I watch a movie, can you do that now? 我一日可以記五十個廣東話生字。I can memorize around fifty new Cantonese words a day. Can you really remember that much in a day? Maybe it's just me. I think I can only remember ten or twenty max. Tell us how many words you can remember every day. 廣東話好得意又易學。Cantonese is fun and easy to learn. Yes, it is. It sounds like the song, and it has a lot of tones, so it's fun to learn. And there are a lot of slang. Once you know the language, it's very interesting to find out the background of the slangs or idioms. So work hard. 我嘅廣東話三年之內會好似母語咁流利。I'll speak Cantonese like a native speaker in three years. Three years seems a bit short to master a language and make it fluent like your mother tongue, but you can do it. It usually takes a year and a half for someone to really capture the essence of the language, especially if you're living in a city that speaks that language. That really helps. 
你讲嘅嘢我完全明白。I completely understand everything you said. I completely understand everything you said. 你讲嘅嘢我完全明白。Depending on the person speaking, sometimes even when people are speaking in Cantonese or in English, I can still get confused because the way they speak or the speed they speak. But yeah, I would aim to completely understand the other person when they're speaking in a language that I'm learning. So that is really good progress. 多谢，但系呢个唔系我嘅母语。Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker actually. 多谢，但系呢个唔系我嘅母语。Thank you, but I'm actually not a native speaker. Wow, if people said that to you, that means your Cantonese is really good and you have no accent at all. So that's like the ultimate goal for learning a language. 母语 is mother tongue, so it's like, thank you, but this is not my mother tongue. But I speak it like it's my mother tongue. I rock. 我净系学咗一年，已经好流利。我净系学咗一年，已经好流利。It took me only one year to become fluent. I mean, one year. Yes, you can do that if you study like every day and practice every day. I know someone who get really fluent in spoken Cantonese. Just、uh, practice a lot, say it out loud, and don't be afraid. Today we talked about the top ten phrases to amaze native speakers. Let us know if you have any extra tips, and check out the website for the word list. But maybe if you're already fluent in Cantonese, then you don't need the word list, right? All right, please subscribe so you can check out more Cantonese videos. And I'll see you next time. I'm Olivia. Ciao, bye. Hi guys, welcome to Cantonese Talk Words. Today we're going to talk about ten most common breakup lines. What? Why do you want to learn this? I don't want to do this. Okay, for educational reason, let's go over the list now. 我谂我哋要分开下。I think we need a break. 我谂 I think 我哋 we or us 要分开下。分开 is to separate, but adding the 下 makes it a short term. So 分开下 to separate for a while, so to have a break. Nobody really just have a short break. It just A real breakup, so that sucks. <laughs> 我需要啲私人空間。I need my space. 我需要 is I need.、Um, 私人空間 is private space. So I need more space. I need my own space. I need more space. 我需要啲私人空間。我諗我哋進展得太快。I think we're moving too fast. Again, 我諗 I think 我哋 we or us. 進展 is progress, or to progress the verb or the noun. 得太快 type is too much or too. Fast is fast, so too fast. 進展得太快 progressing too fast. Someone who is not ready for the relationship might say that. I don't know. 我哋做朋友算啦 Let's just be friends. Actually, someone broke up with me with this sentence on the text. So I was like, huh? We're already friends. What are you talking about? Oh, I just got dumb. That's what I realized. 朋友 is friend, so 算啦 is kind of like dismissing something. 我哋做朋友 is let's be friends. Then 我哋做朋友算啦 is let's just be friends. It's like degrading. 我未有心理準備發展呢種關係 I'm just not ready for this kind of relationship. 心理準備 is、um, psychologically prepared. 心理 is psychology, and 準備 is preparation or to prepare. So I don't have this psychological preparation for this kind of relationship. 我要專注喺我嘅事業 I need to focus on my career. 事業 is career.、Uh, 專注 is to focus. 我要專注喺我嘅事業 I need to focus on my career. This is a very common excuse, but I might not buy it. <laughs> I'm not good enough for you. Of 
course you're good enough for the other person or else you won't be the one breaking up with them. It's um, trying to be great yourself and make the other person happy about the breakup. That doesn't really work. Hui is to match. So more Hui name Hei. It's like my status doesn't match with yours. I just don't love you anymore. Ouch, that hurt. That's really honest, but kind of too direct. <laughs> is like I already. Yigeng is already. Enjoy, not anymore. I love. So, I just don't love you anymore. Not my whole We're just not right for each other. That's actually a better line to break up with someone. Um, you hang out, you date for a while, and then you realize you're not right for each other. So this is an honest confession. I hope the other person thinks the same. Sick help is to be appropriate, to be right for each other. So Doi Fong is each other. Sick help Doi Fong is to be right for each other. We're just not right for each other. We've grown apart. Means um, we no longer have the same goal, so we're growing apart. That sucks. That usually happens to people who have dated for a long time. It's really hard to keep growing together at the same pace. That's it for today. Today we talked about the 10 most common breakup lines. Leave us a comment if you have any other breakup lines. Uh, please subscribe to check out more Cantonese videos and check out CantoneseClass101.com for the work list. I'll see you next time. Bye! Breakup lines, which I hate. And the honk that I hate. Want to speak real Cantonese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at CantoneseClass101.com. Hi guys, welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Today we're going to talk about 10 things to do in the summer in Hong Kong. Here we go. Hai sa tan he, to relax at the beach. Hai sa tan he ha, chui ha hai feng zui se yi. It is so enjoyable to relax at the beach and to relish the blowing of the ocean breeze. Feel the ocean breeze in your hair. Yong CantoneseClass101.com Learn Cantonese with CantoneseClass101.com Yong CantoneseClass101.com It is convenient and useful to learn Cantonese at CantoneseClass101.com Yes, sure, that's a good way to stay indoor in the air-conditioned room and learn Cantonese. 学煮广东菜 To learn to cook Cantonese food. 我想参加烹饪班学煮广东菜 I want to go to the cooking class to learn how to cook Cantonese cuisine. 去 BBQ to have a barbecue. BBQ barbecue in Hong Kong is very different than those in America. In Hong Kong BBQ, we just we usually go to a public barbecue area close to a park, a mountain, or a beach. So it's actually a bit of hike or a bit of walk in the nature when you get there. And when we do barbecue, we get these metal forks and then we put food on it and then we barbecue it on top of open fire, charcoal open fire. And usually we Food like sausage, pork chop, um, chicken wings, marshmallow. Having barbecue with several friends is the happiest thing to do. Yes, it is. To party all night. He goes to Lan Kui Fong to party all night every weekend. So, Lan, Lan Kui Fong. It's a very famous clubbing and bar area in Hong Kong. It's uh, in Central. And there are a lot of bars and clubs and fancy restaurants over there. So people usually go there for nightlife. Check it out next time when you're in Hong Kong. Sai Tai Yang to get a tan. Ha Tian Joy Ho Hu Sa Tan Sai Tai Yang. Yo Ha Sui Tong Tai Ha Lang Lui. It is the best to go to the beach. Take a swim and check out the pretty girls on the beach. 
I guess a man wrote this. I don't need to check out pretty girls, but yes, uh, that's a good thing to do. Swim at the beach, so and uh, get a suntan and enjoy outdoor. Han san hiking. Han is to walk. San is mountain. So walking on the mountains, hiking. Han san is very healthy activity. Hiking is a very healthy activity, and I love it. You should do it more. Zhou Kim Zik to work a part-time job. Many students work a part-time job during the summer. Many students work a part-time job during the summer. If a student only doing it during the summer holiday, we call it suitcase gong. If it's a longer term part-time job, we call it gim zai. Do you do part-time job during the summer or do you go play? <laughs> Let us know in the comment section. Tong pan yao wan to have fun with friends. 我哋决定去嚟到租间度假屋，同朋友玩。We have decided to rent a vacation house on the island to have fun with friends. So that is what I used to do when I was in high school. We would go rent a vacation house for like ten, fifteen people to stay overnight, just to hang out, kind of like a slumber party. Because in Hong Kong, not many people have a house that is、uh, big enough to invite a whole group of friends over to party. And on the island, there are a lot of cheaper choices. Island meaning、um, somewhere close to the airport, like Lantau Island or Lama Island, Discovery Bay, a lot of like outskirt area where you can rent a vacation house. 有船可 to have a boating party. 每到夏天我就会去游船可 Every summer I go have a boating party or go sailing. So 游船可 typically means sailing. Or go on a yacht and then sail around. But、um, in Hong Kong, you can rent sailing boat. You can rent yacht and like sail around, go swim in the ocean, play all sorts of water activities. It's very fun and enjoy the wind in our hair. So that's it for today. Today we talked about ten things to do in the summer in Hong Kong. Are you going to spend your summer in Hong Kong? Let us know in the comment section what are you going to do, or you can tell us what are you going to do in your country in the summer. So I'll see you next time. My name is Olivia. Please subscribe our channel and check out CantoneseClass101.com for the word list. Happy Gin. See you next time. Bye. Hi guys, welcome to Cantonese Top Words. My name is Olivia. Today we are on the beach, and we're going to talk about 20 words you need for the beach. First is Sa Tan Beach. Sa is sand, so Sa is sand. Sa Tan is beach. This 间酒店好近沙滩 This hotel is very near to the beach. And we are on English Bay today. Look. And the sun just set. So the next word is tayang an gan sunglasses. See, I have tayang an gan here. 去沙滩记得戴太阳眼镜 Remember to bring your sunglasses when going to the beach. Next, 游水 swimming. 游水嘅好處就係可以保持苗條。The advantage of swimming is staying slim. See, I'm slim, but I don't really swim that much. Do you like swimming? I used to swim a lot, but not anymore. 太陽 sun， 太陽落山啦 ，the sun is setting。我哋要喺太陽落山前翻營地。We have to go back to the campsite before the sun goes down. Or else it's too dark. 棕榈树 palm tree. 夏威夷嘅棕榈树同沙滩最迷人。The palm trees and beach in Hawaii are the most fascinating. I've never been to Hawaii. I want to go too. Next, 贝壳 shell. Is there any 贝壳 I think this is a 贝壳 Parts of a 贝壳 Parts of a shell. 呢个系我亲手做嘅贝壳首饰。This is my handmade seashell accessory, 泳衣 swimsuit. 我最中意嘅泳衣係比基尼 My favorite swimsuit is bikini. I think that's what most people like. 
海 ocean。地球嘅七成面積都係海。Seventy percent of the Earth's surface is covered by ocean, so I'm facing the ocean as I'm filming this video. It's fantastic. 救生员 lifeguard like Baywatch. <laughs> 救生员要受专业嘅训练 Lifeguards have to receive professional training. Do you know any lifeguards? I think I have some friends who used to be a lifeguard, and then they. Went to work at an eye bank, so it's totally a different occupation. 水上電單車 jet ski. 好多遊客都中意去泰國玩水上電單車 Many tourists like to go to Thailand for jet skiing. I used to go to Thailand for wakeboarding, but never tried jet skiing. I think I'm afraid that I would crash. 沙灘巾 beach towel. 佢最中意有卡通人物嘅沙灘巾 She loves the beach towel with the cartoon characters on it. I have my satan gun here. Look. Sa Seng Bo. Sand castle. Sa is sand. Seng Bo is castle. 好多細路喺沙灘砌沙城堡 Lots of small kids are making sand castles on the beach. Bing Sun Cooler. So we bring drinks to the beach in a cooler. 夏天去郊外野餐會帶冰箱。We bring coolers when we go picnic in the summer. Too noisy helicopter and people singing. Look. <音樂>潮汐太。潮汐嘅漲退同月亮引力有關。The high to low tide is affected by the gravitational force of the moon. Next, 曬太陽 tan. 曬 is like to be exposed. 太陽 is sun, so 曬太陽 to tan to get a sunbathe. 大部分女士都好怕曬太陽。Most of the ladies do not like to have tan skin. I think that's for Asian ladies because.、Um, For Asian culture, the whiter your skin, the paler your skin, it means you are from a better family, or you don't have to work outside. So, for Asian girls, they like to stay white and pale. Fao Tim snorkeling. San Hu Wan is 游客嘅浮潜热点 Cory Bay is the hot spot for tourists to try snorkeling. Next. 人字拖 flip flop， 人 is like people， but because the, of the shape， it's like this。So a slipper with the shape that holds on to your feet like that， it's called flip flop。去沙滩着人字拖，方便又舒服。It is convenient and comfortable to wear flip flops to the beach。I did not wear flip flops today though。防晒伤 ，sunscreen 防 is to avoid。Sai is to tan, and sun is like ointment or cream, so 防曬傷 sunscreen. 搽防曬傷可以預防皮膚癌 You can prevent skin cancer by putting on sunscreen. That is also what、um, Hugh Jackman promotes. I heard because he has、um, experience、uh, of.、Uh, First stage of skin cancer, I heard. So he always tell people to put on sunscreen. Next word is bikini. Bikini. 今年夏天興一件頭多過 bikini. One piece swimsuit are more fashionable than bikini this summer. I agree. There are so many like really cool cutout one pieces this year. So I'm looking forward to get one for myself. <laughs> 沙滩排球 beach volleyball。去沙滩除咗游水，仲可以打沙滩排球。Besides swimming, you can also play beach volleyball when you go to the beach. I think sometimes people. Oh, there are people playing beach volleyball here. Let's see. I'm not sure if you could see people playing beach volleyball over there, but yeah, people are playing beach volleyball here. So that's it for today. Today we talked about 20 words you need for the beach, and we are.、Um, I'm on holiday in Vancouver, and we are on English Bay. So I hope you enjoy the view here, and I hope to see you soon in other videos. 
If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and check out CantoneseClass101.com for the word list. My name is Olivia and I'll see you next time. Bye! Welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Today we are going to talk about 10 phrases for surviving back to school. Are you excited for school? I know I am. Here we go. Boy long backpack. Boy long backpack. Boy long backpack. long. I did not bring my backpack today. In uh, another sentence, the backpack. Students carry very heavy backpack to go to school. In Hong Kong, we don't have a locker, so we just bring everything with us every day. All the textbooks and stationery and notebooks and whatnot. So it's always very heavy, not very good for our backs. <laughs> 同学, classmate. 同学, classmate. I will ask my classmates to study together. 同学, 同 means like together. 学 is uh, to learn. So someone we learn things together are classmates. Do you usually study with your classmates? I usually study by myself because if I'm with my classmate, we just monkey around, we just play. We hardly would ever study. 功课. Homework. 功課, homework. Why do I never finish the homework, no matter how hard I try? In some schools in Hong Kong, it's uh, famous for having a lot of homework. It's pretty tough for the kids because they don't even have enough time to sleep. So they're always tired. I'm glad I did not go to those schools. How see exam. How see exam. How see exam. The thing I'm worried the most is to fail an exam. So failo is the transliteration of fail, fail, failo, 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 failo. It also means a fat guy, failo. So a fat guy and failing is the same term, <laughs> no offense, but um, it's a very slang term, so you don't really use it in writing, you should use it when you talk. So, how si fail to fail on an exam? I'm most scary of, my most uh, terrified things is how si fail to fail in an exam. Su ga summer break. Su ga summer holiday or summer break. Hoda ha sang do hai su ga jo kim zek. Many students work a part-time job during the summer holiday. We also call it Su Kei Gong. Su Kei is like during the summertime and Gong means work. So the work you do during summertime is Su Kei Gong. Su to study. Su to study. Dok literally means read, to read. So Dok Su is book. So to read a book. You can also say, I'm reading a book, or I'm studying, so they're the same words, I will study very hard so as not to let my parents down. Not to let my parents down, not to let them disappoint. To study very hard, to try my best. It's the first day of class. Today is the first day of class. So hockey means semester. In this case, it's the first day of class or first day of semester. So today, is the first day of the new semester. So today is the first day of school. Yay! You get to meet all your new uh, classmates and teachers. So excited! We are in the same class. We are in the same class. It's always happy to have someone you know in the same class so you can study together or you can um, hang out a lot. What classes are you taking? What classes are you taking? So in Hong Kong, it's not very common to use this 
face because、um, everybody just sit in the same classroom and you wait for the teacher to come and teach you different classes. So basically, you guys all have the same class. But if、uh, for someone that is not in the same class, you can ask them they send bin di tang because they might have a different class than you. Especially when、um, after form three, like grade nine, usually students are split into science or literature, man fa literature, lei fa science. So you can also ask lei tao man fa ding lei fa. Are you studying literature or science? Which faculty are you in? 你做晒功课未 ？Did you finish your homework? 你做晒功课未 ？Did you finish your homework? Yes, I did. We can go play. 我做晒功课啦，可以去玩。做晒功课 is、um, to have completed, to have done the homework. So 你做晒功课未 ？Have you finished your homework? 我做晒功课啦 ，I finished my homework. Let's go play. So that's it for today. Today we learned about. Ten phases for surviving back to school. I hope you will enjoy your new semester, and I'll see you next time. My name is Olivia. Please subscribe and check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com. See you next time. Bye. Yay! Let's go play. Hi guys, welcome back to Cantonese Top Words. Today、uh, we are in Lake Louise in Canada. Look. But meanwhile. I'm going to tell you top ten must know autumn words. Here we go. Lansam sweater. This is a lansam, a sweater. This 件系女朋友亲手织嘅蓝衫 This is the sweater that was handwoven by the girlfriend. Well, not my girlfriend, somebody's girlfriend maybe. <laughs> Next, 雨季 rainy season. 雨季 rainy season. 香港嘅雨季係喺四月至九月。The rainy season in Hong Kong is from April to September. I'm glad that this is not rainy season here, or else it won't be as beautiful. But if you go to Hong Kong in the summer, it's going to be very humid. Although it might not rain that much, but sometimes we have like typhoon or rainstorm in、uh, July and August, so be careful. Next, 大风 windy. 大风 windy， 今日好大风，记得着多件衫。It's very windy today. Remember to put on some more clothes. It's not too windy, but it's cold here. 凉 cool， 凉 cool， 凉 cool， as in the weather crispy cool。凉。前几日仲系好凉，今日又热翻。It was quite cool a couple of days ago, but today it's so hot again. That's very common in Hong Kong. You get Like one or two cool days, and then it's like crazy humid, hot in the summer. <laughs> Next word is, "chao tin autumn." Chao tin autumn. Chao tin. Hong Kong 人好中意秋天去日本睇枫叶 Hong Kong people love to go to Japan to see the red leaves in autumn. Have you ever seen the autumn leaves in Japan? They call it koyo, I think, and it's. Very beautiful, especially、um, I've been to the one in Shinjuku Goen, Shinjuku、uh, Royal Park. It's very nice. Gammo cold, gammo cold. I think I might catch a cold if I sit out here for a bit longer. <laughs> in a sentence, 每次感冒医生都会叫你饮多啲水 Whenever you catch a cold, the doctors will tell you to drink a lot of water. That's my remedy too. Whenever I feel unwell or sick, I just drink a lot of warm water.、Um, you can try that too. <laughs> I hope it works on you, or maybe it's a psychological effect for me. <laughs> Let's see, chestnut. Let's see, chestnut. 好想食街头热辣辣嘅炒栗子 I really want to try the hot fried chestnut from the street food vendors. In Hong Kong, there are many chao le zi fried chestnut on the street corner of the street. In some well, not business area, maybe in Mong Kok they would have it. Sometimes in Causeway Bay they have it too. You can try to find them chao le zi, and you can usually smell it from the end of the street. Chan zhao sam long sleeve shirt. Chan zhao sam long sleeve shirt. I'm wearing chan zhao sam long sleeve because it's cold here. 
So in autumn, we usually just wear chuan zhao sam, long sleeve shirts. Zhe chuan zhao sam hao yi bei min bei man ngao. Wearing long sleeve shirts can avoid getting mosquito bites. Lo yip, falling leaves. Lo yip, falling leaves. Chao tin ye dou, san tiu gai dou hai lo yip. When the autumn arrives, the street is full of fallen leaves. I don't see that much leaves in Hong Kong. But in Japan and Canada and uh, many other countries, you can see a lot of fallen leaves everywhere. It's quite nice and sometimes they're crispy, so I like stepping on them and hear that sound. I, uh, I think a lot of people like that too. Do you? Let us know in the comment. Gam yan jit, Thanksgiving. Gam yan jit, Thanksgiving. Gam yan jit is usually in uh, what, November, so it's autumn time. And in a sentence, Eating turkey on Thanksgiving is an American tradition. In Hong Kong now, um, during um, Thanksgiving, you can actually find restaurants that serve like a huge turkey dinner. It's uh, pretty good. And so even when you're in Hong Kong, you can spend uh, Thanksgiving like you were in US without the whole family. So that's it for today. Today we talked about top 10 autumn words. And autumn is one of my favorite seasons. What about you? What season do you like the most? Please let us know in the comment section. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. My name is Olivia. Also, please check out CantoneseClass101.com for the word list and explanation on each word and terms and phrases that we talked about. So I'll see you next time in other videos. See ya. Bye. Hi guys, welcome. My name is Olivia and this is Cantonese Top Words. Today, we are going to talk about 10 gift ideas you must know in Cantonese. So it's gift giving season. See if you are gonna receive any of the following gifts. I hope so. <laughs> Here we go. The first word is sao tai di no laptop. Sao tai means carry on or a carry, and di no is computer. So a computer that you can carry around, that's a laptop. In a sentence, He brings the laptop every time he goes on a business trip. Of course, it's a business trip, you need your computer. So a computer that you can bring around, a laptop, it's perfect. This laptop is for you. Happy birthday. I wish I get a laptop computer as a gift. Hint. <laughs> and the next word is hang sui, perfume. Hang means a good smell, fragrance, and soy is water. So water that smells good is perfume, of course. In a sentence, He gave his wife a bottle of perfume for her birthday. San yat lai mat is birthday gift. Su mm. <laughs> book. Mm. I like reading books. What book are you reading now? Camera. Remember to bring your camera when you go travel. Smart phone. Smartphone. Zinang means intelligence. Dinwa means phone. So intelligence phone or smartphone. Or nowadays, since everybody has a smartphone, we just say cell gate, like cell phone. 智能电话不单只可以影相,仲可以用来上网. You not only can use a smartphone to take pictures, you can also use it to browse internet. How handy! 字典 dictionary. 中英字典, Chinese English dictionary. So they translate from Chinese to English. And you sometimes you can find 中中字典, it translates from Chinese to Chinese. It means it just breaks down the words, the characters. There are lots of sample sentences in this English dictionary. That's a very good dictionary. I like dictionaries that have a lot of sample sentences, but in most dictionaries, they only have one or two. I wish there are more. And on our site, you can also find a dictionary, like online dictionary that you can use. Make use of it. 
And the next gift is, I think you'll like it. Hui Hong Gong gave you a flight ticket to Hong Kong. Yay! Let's fly! 得獎者會得到一張去香港的機票. The winner receives a flight ticket to Hong Kong. So like for example, it might be a lucky draw, a lottery, and you join it and you won it and the gift is a flight ticket to Hong Kong. That's pretty nice. Yeah? <laughs> so come to Hong Kong. Junsa Gaizi Diamond Rain. Junsa is diamond, Gaizi is rain. I don't like diamond rings, but um, most of my friends do. <laughs> His girlfriend really likes this diamond ring. Brand name bags. Mingpai is brand name or like a famous brand. Saudai is a bag. Again, I don't like Mingpai Saudai. I don't like brand name bags. You can see it everywhere. So boring. Sell bill watch. Or you can just say bill. 你隻表好靚, your watch is pretty. They're both okay. In a sentence, 我在父親節送了隻手錶給爸爸. I gave my father a watch on Father's Day. That's a good gift idea, right? 這隻手錶誰送的呢? Who gave me this watch? I don't remember. Anyways, so that's it for today. Today we talked about 10 gift ideas you must know in Cantonese. Are you going to buy any of those for your loved ones? Let us know in the comment section. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed it so you can watch more videos like this. And I will see you in other videos. My name is Olivia. See you next time. Hatsukin! Hi everybody! Welcome to Cantonese Top Words. My name is Olivia and today we are going to do a very romantic topic. Top 10 marriage proposal lines. Are you about to propose to your Cantonese speaking girlfriend or boyfriend in their native tongue? That is so thoughtful. So let us help you. Here we go! 你愿意嫁给我吗? Will you marry me? 你愿意嫁给我吗? Will you marry me? So ga is the verb to marry someone for female. If you are a guy and you marry a female, you use the verb chu. If a girl is proposing to a guy, she will say ne yun yi ma. Are you willing to marry me? Like would you like will you marry me? So if a guy asks a girl, it will be ne yun yi ga bang o ma. I'm not sure about guy to guy or girl to girl, I guess either would work. So um, if you know, please let us know in the comment section. So this is the most common proposal line. Let's see what's the next one. 你愿不愿意做我老婆? Will you do me the honor of becoming my wife? 你愿不愿意做我老婆? Will you do me the honor of being my wife? Will you do me the honor of becoming my wife? So a girl would ask the guy, 你愿不愿意做我老公? Are you willing to be my husband? Would you do me would you do me the honor of becoming my husband? Yeah, in in Hong Kong, most people are pretty traditional, so only a guy would propose to the girlfriend. It would be very rare for a girl to propose to a guy. I guess the only way they do it is keep nagging until the guy finally proposes. So let's go on with the list. 我成世人就是等着你的出現 You are the one I've been waiting for my whole life. 我成世人就是等着你的出現 You are the one I've been waiting for my whole life. So 成世人 is the whole life, my whole life. 我成世人 is my whole life. So 成世人 is whole life and 我成世人 is my whole life. 等緊 to wait. 你的出現 is you appearing, 出現 is appearing or appearance. Your appearance, your you appearing is what I've been waiting for my whole life. That's kind of romantic. <laughs> it's like you're born to be each other's spouse. 我想永遠跟你一起. I want to be with you forever. 我想永遠跟你一起. I want to be with you forever. 永遠 is forever, so 同你一起 is to be together with you. 一起 means together, so 
同你 with you 一齊 together， so 永遠同你一齊 to be、um, with you forever。我想永遠同你一齊。I want to be with you forever。Forever is kind of a strong word， but I guess when you're proposing， you should use it <笑>。我想同你過埋下半世。Let's spend the rest of our lives together。我想同你過埋下半世。Let's spend the rest of our lives together. So, 上半世 is the life that I already lived, and 下半世 is rest of my life. So, 上下 up and lower. So, 上下 um, we don't usually say 上半世 we usually just say 下半世 but there is such a term. So, 我想同你过埋下半世过 is like to spend. So, 我想同你过埋下半世。I want to spend the rest of my life together with you. 有你喺我身边，我嘅世界先算完整。Having you by my side is what completes me. 有你喺我身边，我嘅世界先算完整。Having you by my side is what completes me. So, 完整 is complete. What is that movie? Ah,、uh, Jerry Maguire. You complete me. <laughs> 你令到我完整。It's kind of cheesy, but I guess when you're proposing, you're allowed to be cheesy. You make my life complete. 你令到我嘅生命完整 Or you make my world complete. 你令到我嘅世界完整我想将所有嘢都俾晒你，但系我希望呢只戒指已经代表晒一切 I wish I could give you everything, but I hope that this ring is enough. 我想将所有嘢都俾晒你，但系我希望呢只戒指已经代表晒一切。I wish I could give you everything, but I hope that this ring is enough. So you say this when you're presenting the engagement ring, the ring. Yeah, I wish I could give you everything, my whole life, my mind, my future. But I hope this、uh, ring represents everything. It's kind of long, but maybe some people would like it. <laughs> 而家我知道我哋系注定喺埋一齐。I now know that you and I are truly meant to be together。而家我知道我哋系注定喺埋一齐。I now know that you and I are truly meant to be together。So 而家 now 我知道 I know 我哋 us we 系注定 is、um, meant to be is faithful to 喺埋一齐。To be together, so we are meant to be together. Star-cross lovers, <laughs> it's fate. 命运嘅安排 ，it's fate. Next, 识咗你之后，我先知道原来我之前嘅生活系几咁空虚。Before I met you, I never realized how empty my life was. 识咗你之后，我先知道原来我之前嘅生活系几咁空虚。Before I met you, I never realized how empty my life was. So it doesn't have to be a proposal line, but that's sweet. And but you can also say it when you're confessing your love. So after you meet someone, you realize they change, they turn your life over, and、um, you really appreciate it. So、um, you can say that. 识咗你之后 after I met you, 我先知道 I then realize. 原来我之前嘅生活系几咁空虚。My life before has been so、um, meaningless. 空虚 is like empty or meaningless. So yeah, life have meaning after I met you. That's the most straightforward way to say it. 我哋系命中注定嘅。We are meant to be together. 我哋系命中注定嘅。We are meant to be together. 命中注定，命 is like fate， 中 is inside， so in fate， 注定 is like meant to be， so we are meant to be together， is fate， you have to love me， <laughs> is fate for you to be in love with me， so that's it for today， today we talked about top ten marriage proposal lines in Cantonese， we hope you will success in your proposal， all the best。If you like this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to check out Cantonese Class One One dot com for more fun Cantonese stuff. 
and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Want to speak real Cantonese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at CantoneseClass101.com. Hey guys, welcome to Cantonese Top Words. My name is Olivia, and today we are going to talk about top ten phrases you need for a date. So you can use these phrases to ask a girl or a boy out on a date in Cantonese. How cool is that? So let's start. 想面同我食餐饭吗 Would you like to go out to dinner with me? The first phrase is 想面同我食餐饭吗 Would you like to go out to dinner with me? 想面同我食餐饭吗 So 想面 literally means、um, to do the honor of or to give me your free time. So it's a bit fancy, but if someone asks me, "So I mean, Thomas, it's time for ma," I'll be like, "Ooh, so fancy." Okay, <laughs> it's a little formal, but it's always good to be formal when you're asking someone out on a date. You don't want it to be too casual. 你今个礼拜尾得唔得闲 ？Are you free this weekend? 你今个礼拜尾得唔得闲 ？Are you free this weekend? 你今个礼拜尾得唔得闲 ？So 你 you. 今个礼拜尾 ，this weekend， 得唔得闲 ？Are you free or not? So, are you free this weekend? And、uh, you can also say weekend as in the English in the sentence. So you can say， 你今个 weekend 得唔得闲 ？Are you free this weekend? So if you say yes， I'm free， you can say 得闲。If you are not free or you don't want to go out with that person， you can say 唔得闲。So 得闲 and 唔得闲。我哋一齐去玩好吗 ？Would you like to hang out with me？ 我哋一齐去玩好吗 ？Would you like to hang out with me？ 一齐去玩 ，it、uh, literally means to go out and play together. Because in Cantonese there is no translation for hang out, so we usually just say like to go out together. So 一齐去玩，我哋 to、uh, you and me， 我哋 us we。我哋 we 一齐去玩 ，go play together， 好嘛 ？How about that? So would you like to go hang out with me? Or you can say 我哋一齐去睇戏好吗 ？Would you like to go watch a movie with me? 你好得意 ，You are very cute. 你好得意 ，You are very cute. 得意 means a cute. We usually use it for、uh, kids or little girls or like young girls, teenagers as well. So, ah,、uh, you're cute. Nehal da e. Would I say it to a guy? I don't think so. I think some guy might feel offended if someone tell them they are like cute. Like in English, you can say that oh, that guy is cute. But、uh, in Cantonese, if you say da e, it usually means something that is like small and cute, like um, tiny, cute thing. So I don't think guys want that kind of compliment. <laughs> Or it's not a compliment to them to be small and tiny. 你好靓 you are pretty. So、uh, the next phrase is 你好靓 you are pretty. 你好靓 so 靓 is pretty or beautiful. You can、um, yeah, I guess paying a compliment would be a nice thing before you ask anyone out for a date. So if、uh, it was a me asking a guy, you can say 你好靓仔 You are handsome. 你好靓仔 You are handsome. You are good looking. So 靓 is for female, and 靓仔 is for male. 今晚好开心 That was a great evening. 今晚好开心 That was a great evening. 今晚好开心今晚 is、uh, this evening, and 好开心 is very happy. So literally, this evening was happy. So we use this after the date, right? You had a great time, and you are thinking if you're gonna see each other again. Then first you say, "Come on, how awesome! Like I had a great time with you. It was a great evening." 我打俾你 I'll call you. 我打俾你 I'll call you. You can use this for anyone. It doesn't have to be someone you want to go on a date with. It can be your family or a stranger. Well, not stranger. You're not gonna call a stranger. Business. Related people, anyone, friends. You can say I'll call you. I'll call you. The longer phrase is I'll call you on the phone. I'll call you on the phone. Since it's well understood that you're gonna use the phone, so you can just say I'll call you on 
。我打俾你。我车你翻屋企。I will drive you home。我车你翻屋企。I'll drive you home。我车你。Literally, I drive you or I car you。So 车 is the noun for car or the verb to、uh, drive。Or to give someone a ride, so I give you, I give you a ride home. Fan OK, OK is home, and Fan OK is like to return home. So I take you Fan OK, I drive you home. That's more like a driver, or I can just get an Uber. <laughs> Next, 我哋听日几点见 What time shall we meet tomorrow? 我哋听日几点见 What time shall we meet tomorrow? 我哋 we 听日 Tomorrow, 几点 What time? Again, to meet, to see each other. So, if you want to confirm、uh, the meeting time with the other person, you can ask. 我哋听日几点见 What time are we meeting tomorrow? 我可唔可以再约你 Can I see you again? 我可唔可以再约你 Can I see you again? So, 再约你 Yeah, literally means to date you. So to ask you out for a date. So can I ask you out for a date again? So can I see you again? Yeah. So if you have a good, nice evening or a very enjoyable date, and you want to see that person again, you can ask. Can I see you again? 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 Can we go out again? Can we have a date again? Can we have a second date? So that's it for today. Today we talked about top ten phrases you need for a date. I hope you successfully ask someone out on a date in Cantonese. You could be a Hong Kong girl or Hong Kong guy. Please subscribe to our channel and check out CantoneseClass101.com. And I'll see you next time on Cantonese Top Words. My name is Olivia, and I'll see you next time. Hachiki, bye bye. Hi guys, welcome back to Cantonese Top Words. Today I am traveling. And I'm gonna show you where I am later. You can guess where I am. But I'm going to talk about top ten tourist attractions in Hong Kong today. So here we go. The first one is Qin Shui Wan, Repulse Bay. Qin Shui Wan 有个好靓嘅沙滩 There is a very beautiful beach at Repulse Bay. Many people go suntanning or even surfing there, and sometimes you can swim and、um, swim mostly and suntan. Taiping <laughs> Shan, Victoria Peak. You can take the Taiping Shan train to Victoria Peak. You can take the Peak train to the Victoria Peak. It's、uh, very nice and one of the must-dos when people go visit Hong Kong. I hope. Um, you get to go too. I've been on the tram, like the peak tram, many times, and it's been very nice. And、um, better get a seat in the front, and you will get a very nice view. Victoria Gong, Victoria Harbour. This is like the most famous part of Hong Kong, <laughs> and、uh, I pass by it almost every day. It's a very nice place to go, and at night I love to go there to look at the night view of Hong Kong. So in a sentence, Victoria Gong 嘅夜景世界闻名 The night view of the Victoria Harbour is world famous. In most cases, we would shorten Victoria Gong, Victoria Harbour, to Wai Gong, Wai Gong. So the first word and the last word. And if you go there around eight at night, there is like a symphony show,、uh, like a light show. All the buildings will light up according to the music. It's a really nice show. I hope you get to see it. The best place to see it is by the Star Ferry in Chim Sha Tre. There, you can even hear the music and have a very good view in front of the harbor. So it's close to where the Avenue of Stars is. So in between Avenue of Stars and the Star Ferry Pier, that is a long stretch of harbor side walkway. Where you can watch the show, it's very nice. Hong Kong Disney Land, Hong Kong Disneyland. We're going to go to Hong Kong Disneyland today. We're going to Hong Kong Disneyland today. Hong Kong Disneyland is actually a bit smaller than Hong Kong Disney World, but、uh, it's nice. It's nice. <laughs> there are a lot of tourists there too, so get your ticket soon. Lady's Market, 
So at Ladies Market, people go shop. It's uh, usually filled up a lot of.、Um, it's mostly a street vendors selling、um, pirated goods or、um, souvenirs. So it would be something different than one you can find at a shopping mall. I got a short video clip for you here. But you do. Many tourists like to go to the ladies market to buy souvenirs. Hoyang Gongyuan, Ocean Park, Hong Kong. One of my favorite、um, for a school trip, we usually go to Ocean Park when we were in primary school. And、uh, even when we when we get older, we go dating or when we have kids, we usually go to Ocean Park. So Ocean Park is. More、um, sentimental than、um, Disneyland because Disneyland is newer. But yeah, I like Ocean Park. They also have a very nice aquarium there. Hoyang Gongyuan's cat and mouse are very cute. The pandas in Ocean Park are very cute. Yes, there are two um, famous um, pandas in Ocean Park. And if you want to have a wedding with pandas at your witness, you can do that at the Ocean Park too. There was a pair of celebrities who did that. They had a wedding at Ocean Park, and On On and Guy Guy the Pandas were witness for the wedding. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Angping 三六零 Angping 360 cable car. 我哋坐 Angping 三六零去睇大佛 We take the Angping 360 cable car to see the big Buddha. I like this cable car very much. It's actually very long. It stretches about. The mountains and the ocean. You can get to see a lot of Hong Kong, especially the green side of Hong Kong. After that, you can go look at the Big Buddha. That's also one of the main Hong Kong tourist attraction. Oh, and there is always a long lineup, so better book your ticket online before, like the the day before you go. Hong Kong 仔珍宝海鲜坊 Aberdeen Jumbo Floating Restaurant. It's a famous、um, seafood restaurant that it's in kind of like a boathouse. It's a floating restaurant, though it doesn't really move that much. It's very solid, so you won't get seasick or nauseous on in the restaurant. In a sentence, 游客好中意去香港珍宝海鲜坊食海鲜 Tourists love to go to the Aberdeen Jumbo Floating Restaurant to eat seafood. So to get to the restaurant, you have to take a little yacht, a little boat, to get there. It's a pretty cool experience, and you get to see the older side of Hong Kong, which、uh, Hong Kong used to be a fishing village. So there were a lot of near water activities or culture. Yeah. So I hope you get to try it out. Nan Guai Fang, Lan Guai Fang. Many older people like to go to Lan Guai Fang to drink. Many young people like to go drinking at Lan Kui Fang. I used to go drinking at Lan Kui Fang too. It's a famous bar and clubbing area with、uh, also some fancy restaurants. So that's、um, the main nightlife area for Hong Kong people, and there are a lot of expats and tourists there as well. Some bars have live music performance, so those are pretty nice. Tech Chu Si Zap, Stanley Market. So Stanley is kind of like、um, beach area where there is a beach and、um, restaurants and bars and、uh, markets. Also, people go there for barbecue outdoor as well. There are also a lot of activities like stand up paddleboard, kayaking, stuff like that. And some people go camping there too. I think if it's, I'm not sure if it's legal though. <laughs> Anyways, in a sentence, Tetsu Sita 附近嘅餐廳同酒吧好有歐陸風味。The restaurants and bars near the Stanley Market are rich in European style. It's, I guess, it's because it's catered for expats or tourists. So it's yeah, it's European style. So that's it for today. Today we talked about top ten tourist attractions in Hong Kong. I hope you get to see all those places when you visit Hong Kong. Those are pretty nice places. I would bring my friends to these places when they visit, and sometimes I go there by myself as well. And now I'm going to tell you where I am. 
So this is Lake Louise in Canada. In Alberta, Canada, Lake Louise, the very famous lake. And it is so nice here, isn't it? I'm still on holiday, but if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments what you want to know in Cantonese. Oh, and please check out CantoneseClass101.com for the word list and explanation on all the words and you can even uh, get a free lifetime account there. So my name is Olivia and I hope I'll see you again in the next video. Bye! See you! Hi guys! Welcome to Cantonese Top Words. My name is Olivia and today we're going to talk about 10 most romantic ideas for a date. Are you going on a date soon? Here are some ideas. Here we go! Chukwang Man San Candlelight Dinner. Chukwang Man San Candlelight Dinner. Today is our anniversary. We're going to a candlelight dinner. Aren't those expensive? <laughs> candlelight dinner. Chukwang is uh, candlelight. And dinner is Man San. So Chukwang Man San Candlelight Dinner. Usually people go for uh, Valentine's Day or, or Christmas for candlelight dinner or yeah, anniversary. How about you? Hoisan Bo to go for a walk. Hoisan Bo to go for a walk. Daddy, mommy, every day we go for a walk. Father and mother go for a walk every day. Especially after dinner, they would go for a walk. It's healthy and it's kind of nice. Like the sun is setting and you're having a walk, talking about everything. I like this kind of date. Next. Da bowling. To go bowling. 打保龄, to go bowling. 今日落大雨, it's raining heavily today, we'd better go bowling instead. If you already had a plan like picnic or something and it's raining, then you can change the plan to an indoor activity like bowling. 打保龄. I don't think many people go bowling as a date, do you? 去水族館, to go to the aquarium. To go to the aquarium. Ooh, aquarium. I like They're having a date at the aquarium. That's so romantic. I agree. And some aquarium, they have nice restaurants too. So after you look at the fishies, you can have nice meal. Not seafood meal, maybe. Next. To go to the opera. To go to the opera. To go to the opera. Don't you think taking a girlfriend to see opera will make her feel bored? Well, not me. I love operas. I would love to go on an opera date. That would be a more cultural side. <laughs> Have you ever been on an opera date? What did you watch? What did you see? Ye chan, to have a picnic. Ye chan, to have a picnic. The weather is so great. Let's go picnic. Yeah, I love picnic dates and uh, you can bring any food you like and go to just a park or a national park and relax and look at the sky <laughs> and talk. That's a nice date. Next. Chao Dolan, to take a ferry ride. Chao Dolan, to take a ferry ride. Tong Noi Pan Yao Chao Dolan, Yan Sang Wei Gong Ye Gang, Do Ge Long Man. Taking a ferry ride to enjoy the Victoria Harbour night view with a girlfriend is so romantic. I agree, I love taking the ferry. And especially at night, the night view is excellent. But it's very short. I think 7, 10 minutes? So that would be a very short date if that's all you're doing. But of course there are many um, cater yeah, that we, you can go on. They serve drinks. And I think they will be on the harbor for like an hour or so. So that would be a nice kind of date too. Next. Hai Sa Tan San Bo to walk on the beach. Hai Sa Tan San Bo to walk on the beach. Hai Sa Tan San Bo to walk on the beach. So a lot of people are walking on the beach right now. So they are San Bo. Maybe they're having a date, I don't know. Sanbo is like to have a walk, to stroll. So Hai Satan is at the beach. So in a sentence, They usually take a walk at the beach and collect seashells. Yeah, some people 
every time they go to the beach, they would pick the best seashell, take it home as a souvenir, and they put it in a nice、um, bowl. I don't think I've ever been on a date, like walking on the beach kind of date. Have you? Let us know. Hot tea to take a pottery class. Hot tea to take a pottery class. Hot tea. Hot is to learn. Tea is pottery. So、um, instead of saying hot tea ban or to go on a pottery class class, we just say hot tea. It's like to learn pottery. Not some like hot tea. 你去唔去 I want to take a pottery class. Want to come with? Yeah, it's like the movie Ghost. <laughs> Every time we talk about pottery or ceramic, all we can think about is ghost. So it's romantic in a way. 去博物馆 to go to the museum. 去博物馆 to go to the museum. 博物馆 is museum. 佢同女朋友都中意去博物馆睇艺术展览。He and his girlfriends both enjoy going to the museum to see art exhibition. 艺术展览 art exhibition.、Uh, I love going to the museum, Bao Man Guan, but there isn't a lot in Hong Kong. But whenever we travel, we can go see a lot of museums. So, which one was your favorite date idea? Are you gonna go on a date soon? Are you gonna do any of the above soon? Let us know in the comment section and how it turns out. And if you have other suggestions, please let us know. If you like this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to check out CantoneseClass101.com. My name is Olivia, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi guys, welcome to Cantonese Top Words. My name is Olivia, and today we are going to talk about top ten phrases to know when having a baby. Top ten phrases to know when having a baby. Shh, baby is sleeping. Baby is sleeping. So let's start the list. Sleeping to take a nap. Sleeping to take a nap. Baby is sleeping. Baby is taking a nap. I also want to sleep. I want to take a nap too. Baby is eating. In a sentence, baby is eating. I will sleep. Baby takes a nap after a full meal. Nan means、um, afternoon, so fun gao is to sleep. So an afternoon sleep, fun gan gao is a nap. Wei yan nai to breastfeed. Wei yan nai to breastfeed. Wei yan nai. In Hong Kong, breastfeeding is not that common. I guess one third, or at least less than a half of the moms would、uh, do breastfeeding. Because they have to go back to work so soon after giving birth. In Hong Kong,、uh, we only have ten weeks of maternal leave, so that's very little. Usually, people take two or four weeks before giving birth, before labor, and、um, and then six to eight weeks、um, afterwards, and then they will have to go back to work. So the baby would have to be apart from the mom with when they are two months old. That's pretty sad. Yeah. So most moms usually feed them formula or they pump, but still, it's more common for Hong Kong moms to feed the baby's formula. In a sentence, 好多妈咪认为喂人奶对 B B 好啲。Lots of mothers believe that breastfeeding is better for the baby. I think so too.、Uh, it's the most natural for both the mother and the baby. One pin to change a diaper. One pin to change a diaper. Do we have a pin here? Pin a diaper. Pin one is to change. So one pin to change a diaper. 带 B B 出街之前记得同佢换片 Before taking the baby out, remember to change his diaper. Well, what's the point? You have to change his diaper two or three times while we're out, anyways. <laughs> so yeah, every time you bring a baby out, you have to also bring a big backpack with、uh, diapers, change of clothes, food,、uh, wipes,、um, a lot of stuff. So pin is diaper. One pin is to change a diaper. So my friend's baby, if you tell her to、um, one pin ah. Change diaper. She'll go grab the pin, the diaper, and walk to where the changing diaper, the changing station is. That's very cute. 带口水巾 
to put on a beep. 戴口水巾 to put on a beep. 戴口水巾 so when baby eat, they have to put on a beep. Maybe I should too. I'm kind of clumsy when I eat. <laughs> so in a sentence, 喂 B B 食嘢嘅时候记得同佢戴翻条口水巾 Remember to put on a beep when you feed the baby. Put the beep on the baby or on me. It just splash everywhere, anyways. <laughs> 口水 literally means saliva. Skin is、um, shoulder. So somehow saliva shoulder become a beep. <laughs> Or a cloth that is for the saliva. So, 口水巾口水巾口水 saliva, and 口水巾 a beep. 换衫 to change clothes. 换衫 to change clothes. 换 is to change. 衫 is clothes. So, baby have to change clothes so often because they get messy. <laughs> so, in a sentence, 你等多阵啦，佢同 baby 换紧衫。Would you wait for a little while? She is changing the clothes for the baby. She's always changing clothes for the baby because the baby keep puking or pooping. I don't know. <laughs> baby, 成日都要換衫 Baby have to change a lot, so you have to do laundry like almost every day. Whoops. <laughs> so for 換衫 not only babies can use that,、uh, adults can use it too. 我去換衫 I'll go change. So 換衫 you can use it for. Any person, 唱催眠曲 to sing a lullaby. 唱催眠曲 to sing a lullaby. 催眠曲催眠 is hypnotize. 曲 is song, so a hypnotized song is a lullaby. Songs that tells kids to go to bed so the parents can relax. In a sentence, 我细个嗰阵，妈咪成日唱催眠曲氹我瞓。Mother always sang a lullaby to put me to sleep when when I was small. Twinkle, twinkle, little star.、Um, what else? Seal bo bo, fatty fun cow. Go to bed soon. Fall asleep soon. My baby 安全座椅 to buy a car seat. My baby 安全座椅 to buy a car seat. My baby 安全座椅 to buy a car seat. 为咗 B B 嘅安全，一定要买 B B 安全座椅。For the safety of the baby, buying a car seat for the baby is a must. So、uh, it's even、uh, illegal to put the baby in the car without a car seat. Sometimes we just say car seats because it's easier than B B 安全座椅。B B 安全座椅 ，that's like six words. And、um, yeah, car seat. It makes it, it's easier. But yeah. So, 安全 means safety. So, baby safety seat, a car seat. Why to feed? Why to feed? Why, why, why? Nice sick fan to feed you, um, me a meal to feed you a meal. Why nice sick fan? Yeah, as I mentioned before, it's not really up to the mother to breastfeed every day, every time the baby wants milk because they have to go back to work so soon after labor. Why and night、uh, to feed like breastfeed? Why baby say yeah to feed baby a meal? Now why they say yeah? I'll feed you. Why to feed? Tow baby chair to push a stroller. Tow baby chair to push a stroller. So baby chair literally a baby car. So car for the baby is a stroller. It's much easier. 我会避免喺繁忙时间推 B B 车搭地铁。I would avoid pushing a stroller in the subway during the rush hour. Of course, I would just avoid rush hour, especially if I'm with a baby. That's like no way. There's no place for a baby. So subway during rush hour is crazy in Hong Kong, and I don't want to be there. So why would I bring my baby there? Because <laughs> the good thing is in Hong Kong, all the subway stations they have Elevator and a lift. So if you have a stroller, use the lift. That's elevator. Lift is British. Elevator in American English, right? 冲凉 to bathe. 冲凉 to bathe to take a bath or to take shower. So 冲凉 it doesn't have to be for babies. Everybody like adults, me, ah,、uh, baby, we can all 冲凉 in a sentence. 同 B B 沖完涼，記得同佢搽翻啲潤膚膏。After bathing the baby, remember to put the lotion on him. 
so their skin don't get dry out. So a bathtub is 沖涼缸, 喺沖涼缸同BB沖涼, take a bath for the baby in the bathtub. 喺沖涼缸同BB沖涼, take a bath for the baby in the bathtub. So that's it for today. Today we talk about top 10 faces to know when you're having a baby. If you're having a baby with um, Cantonese speaking spells, a partner, congratulations, you'll get to learn more terms and phrases about um, taking care of a baby because most likely your in-laws will come over to help and you have to talk a lot of uh, Cantonese with your in-law. Good luck! And feel free to let us know if you have any questions. Um, leave them in the comment section. If you like this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And uh, check out CantoneseClass101.com for more Cantonese fun stuff. My name is Olivia and I'll see you next time. Bye bye! Super Bowl! Go to Go to sleep! Go to sleep! Hi guys, welcome to Cantonese Top Words by CantoneseClass101.com. My name is Olivia. Today we're going to talk about top 10 phrases tourists should never use. Never use these. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Even if it's disgusting, you should not say it, I guess. <laughs> what that means ugly or disgusting. So means that's disgusting. My country is better. My country is better. Um, why do you travel if you think your country is always better? Of course, every country has the good and bad, but you should be open minded and absorb all the new experience, even if it's better or worse. I'd rather be back home. I'd rather be back home. Then don't go traveling. You should enjoy traveling instead of uh, complaining all the time. Sao sang. Shut up. Sao sang. Sao sang. Shut up. Even if you're not traveling, that's not a very nice phrase to say. To tell people to shut up, that's not very good. Next. I'm not very interested in your culture. I'm not very interested in your culture. Never say things like that. That's just that's just mean. And you should always respect other people and their culture. Let's just eat at McDonald's. Let's just eat at McDonald's. Then why do you travel? Again, I hate globalization because you can find McDonald's or KFC or Starbucks everywhere. And, and for some people, even when they're traveling, they stick to what they are comfortable with. But they should actually try new food at a new place. New cuisine in a new country. Boring. Homona boring. Moon is boring. So homona is to complain that something is very boring. Usually only young people or teenagers say that. I stopped saying boring for a long time. Nikaholansek. This tastes awful. Nikaholansek. This tastes awful. So lan is difficult. Sick is to eat. Lansek is awful. The food is bad. You can say it in your heart. Just don't say it out loud, it's just not okay. Unless you have to complain to the restaurant that they have some problem with the food. This is stupid. This is so stupid. Chun is stupid. You people are uncivilized. You people are uncivilized. You may say that in your mind, but I guess you should not say that out loud. Yeman means rude or uncivilized. So you guys are so uncivilized. So that's it for today. Today we talk about top 10 phrases tourists should never use. So don't use these phrases and try to enjoy your travel, your new environment. 
If you like this video, please subscribe and check out the world list on CantoneseClass101.com. So I'll see you next time. My name is Olivia. Bye. Hi guys, welcome to Cantonese Top Words. My name is Olivia. Today we're going to talk about top 10 most common tourist vocabularies. Are you traveling to Hong Kong soon? Let's see the terms that you can use. Here we go. Fei ticket. Fei ticket. 请问在哪里买飞? May I ask where can I buy tickets? The ticket window is over there. Yauha tourist. Yauha tourist. Yauha maye yao gaozi. Tourists can enjoy a 10% off discount. This doesn't apply everywhere in Hong Kong, but in some shops or department stores, they do offer discounts for tourists. So bring your passport with you. Zi Lam, guidebook. Zi Nam, guidebook. I would like to buy a guidebook about visiting Japan. Those are really handy. Though it's usually about where to eat and where to go shopping. I don't shop much, so those are not that useful for me. tour bus. Tourists can take the tour bus to go to Disneyland. Miu Temple Miu Temple Ni Gan Miu Hong Fa Ding Sing This temple has a large number of visitors Ting Zhen Zi Mosque Ting Zhen Zi Mosque Gao Long Gong Yun Ge Ting Zhen Zi Lek Si Yao Gao The mosque near the Kowloon Park has a long history It's a very famous mosque in Hong Kong It's in the center of a tourist attraction So you're likely to pass by it all the time Gao Tong Church. Gao Tong Church. Lots of churches in Macau were listed as World Heritage Sites. They're really nice. They are Portuguese style as well. Bokbo Waterfall. Bokbo Waterfall. Hong Kong There are lots of beautiful waterfalls in Hong Kong. For example, the Bryce Pool Waterfall. I have been there when I was a kid. It was very nice. It's very different than other parts of Hong Kong. Hong Kong Tourism Board promotes the hiking tour to tourists. I love hiking tours. Uh, Dragon Bag is one of the famous hiking trails in Hong Kong. Try it if you have a chance. Guide. 導遊,Guide。我不想給tips這個導遊,因為他服務很差。I don't want to give any tips to the tour guide because his service is so bad. But I guess it's compulsory to give tips to the tour guide? I don't know. Yes, so that's it for today. Today we talked about top 10 most common tourist vocabularies. I hope it's useful for your next travel. And I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe and check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com. My name is Olivia. See you next time. Hi hey guys, welcome back to Cantonese Top Words. I'm Olivia. Today we're going to talk about a very meaningful topic. And it is 10 ways to save the planet in Cantonese. Here we go. We sell to recycle. 政府積極推行回收廢紙活動 the government actively promotes the recycle of waste paper campaign. So waste paper is fai zi, campaign is wood dong, and zeng fu is government. Yi gong volunteer, yi gong volunteer. We need a large number of volunteers to help clean up the trash. Sometimes they go to the river, the beach, to the park to pick up trash. So those are the people that work voluntarily. You should join them. We should join them. Bohu to protect. How can we protect the ozone layer? Chowheicheng is ozone layer. Don't use the hairspray. Use pesticide and a lot of other products that could harm the ozone layer. 重複使用, to reuse. 
重复 is to repeatedly to again. 使用 is to use, so use it repeatedly is to reuse. 重复使用 or sometimes we shorten it to 重用为咗减少垃圾，政府鼓励市民重复使用胶袋。The government encourages citizens to reuse plastic bags in order to reduce waste. 保存 to conserve. 为咗减少空气污染，我哋要努力保存树林。We have to try our best to conserve the forest in order to reduce air pollution. 树林 or 森林 they are both forests. 减少垃圾 to reduce trash. So this is everyone's responsibility to reduce trash or reduce waste. 减少垃圾，人人有责。And there's a promotion campaign that has this slogan: 减少垃圾，人人有责。It kind of rhymes. So 减少垃圾 to reduce waste. 人人有责。Everybody is responsible for that. 用环保产品 to use eco-friendly products. 用环保产品减低对人体健康造成嘅伤害。Using eco-friendly products can lower the threat to us, to human being. So, are you using any eco-friendly products? I know that there are many, many companies that started making eco-friendly products, and that's a good thing, though they're always very expensive. But it's worth it. Next, handing to save electricity. 用慳電膽同降低室內嘅温度都係慳電嘅好方法。Using energy-saving light bulbs and lowering the room temperature are good ways to save electricity. 慳電膽 is energy-saving light bulbs, so 用慳電膽 using energy-saving light bulbs. 自然保育 nature conservation. 米埔濕地公園係香港嘅自然保育區。Maple Wetland Park is the nature conservation district in Hong Kong. So Maple is a district. It also has a big wetland park. So、um, everybody can go in and tour, and you can see birds and a lot of different plants and insects in there. It's a very nice place to visit. Next, 保护中华白海豚 protecting Chinese white dolphins. So it's the species name of the dolphins. 中华白海豚 Chinese white dolphins. 保护中华白海豚唔单止系拯救一个物种，仲系拯救紧海洋生态。Protecting the Chinese white dolphins not only saves the species, it can also safeguard the marine ecosystem, 海洋生态 marine ecosystem. So have you learned a lot today? Please take good care of the earth. We all live on the earth, and the resources are going down, and there are pollution everywhere. So please help us save the planets by doing all those things we mentioned. There are, of course, many more ways to save the planet. Please feel free to leave it in the comments and share with others. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please check out CantoneseClass101.com for the word list and many other resources. I'm Olivia, and I'll see you next time in other Cantonese videos. As you can see you next time. Bye. Want to speak real Cantonese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at CantoneseClass101.com. Hi guys, welcome to CantoneseClass101.com's Cantonese Top Words. I'm Olivia, and today we're going to talk about top ten ways to prepare your travel. In fact, I'm traveling right now. But let's start with the work list. 赶去边度 to choose your destination. Before you start your trip, of course, you have to start with some preparation work. First, we have 赶去边度 to choose the destination. 赶 means to choose. 边度 is where. 去 is to go. So to choose to go where. So to choose your destination. 今次旅行，我同屋企人揀咗去日本。For this travel, my family and I chose to travel to Japan. So here we are. This is Japan. Tada!
But let's continue with the word list. So one more example for 拣去边度，就嚟放复活节假，拣去边度旅行好呢 ？The Easter holiday is coming. Where should I choose for traveling? 拣去边度旅行好呢 ？Choose where to travel. 储钱 to save money. So after you have decided on your destination and you've read about it, did some research, then you have to 储钱 save money. You have to save money for you to spend for the trip, right? 储 is together to save up, and 钱 is money. To save money, 我咁努力储钱都系为咗要去冰岛旅行。I've been trying so hard to save money because I want to travel to Iceland. I've been trying so hard to save money because I want to travel to Iceland. That's true. I'm actually planning for an Iceland trip. If you have any advice or recommendation, please let us know in the comment section. 冰岛 is Iceland. 储钱 to save money. I heard that Iceland is one of the most expensive country to travel to, so I would really need to 储钱 in order to go to that trip. Next, 订机票 to book a flight. So after you save up money, you can 订机票 to book a flight. 订机票订 is to book to reserve. 机票 is、um, flight tickets or yeah, flying tickets. Plane seat ticket. So, 订机票 in a sentence. 快啲订机票唔系就冇位噶啦。You should book your flight as soon as possible. Otherwise, there will be no seats. You should book your flight as soon as possible. Otherwise, there will be no more seats. It's been、um, ticket prices have been kind of cheap lately. That caused a lot of people to travel and.、Um, Yeah, the seat got taken up very soon, especially good seats. <laughs> I like window seats. How about you? What kind of seats do you like? Let us know in the comment section. Next, 计算开支 to calculate expenses. So after you bought your your plane ticket, you have to calculate how much you can spend on hotel accommodation, food, and whatnot. So the next. Word is 计算开支 to calculate expenses. To calculate expenses, 计算 is to calculate expenses. 开支 in a sentence. 去旅行前最好先计算开支 It's better to calculate the expense before traveling. So in that case, you won't be stranded somewhere and got no money to travel to the airport <laughs> and return home. So. Before you go to a trip, 去旅行前 please calculate your expense in advance, just in case. Or you can actually do some street performance to gain some changes. Maybe some people do that. I heard. So next, 请假 to request vacation time. 请假 in an office when you want to get, take some day off, you have to tell the HR department or your superior that. Oh, can I take these days off? 我仲考虑紧好唔好请假去旅行。我仲考虑紧好唔好请假去旅行。I'm still thinking if I should request for vacation time for traveling. So some people might want to save up the annual leave for something more important, but、um, usually for people who doesn't have family, they would spend their annual leave. A new holiday on traveling, I guess, or getting married or moving and whatnot. I heard that in some European countries, it's compulsory to let your employee take a month off or like or two weeks off during the summer or just to travel. It's a good balance of life. Then that's a very difficult concept in Asia. Then 酒店 to book accommodations. So after you calculate expense, you bought your plane plane ticket, you got your vacation. The next step is to 订酒店 to book accommodations. 订 is to book or reserve. 酒店 is hotel, so it's actually to book a hotel. Or you can say 订 Airbnb to book a room on Airbnb, or 订民宿 to book for a pension. But the most common way to say it is 订酒店 
to book for a hotel. So I'm on Dan Zhao Dim Zhen Hai Ho Fan Bin. Booking accommodation online is very convenient. Nowadays, we just use all those price comparison website or search engine to find the best price. Back in maybe two, 20 years ago, we still need to use a travel agency. But now, going online, doing it ourselves is the best. So I'm Mong to go online, then Zhao Dim to book a hotel. Zhen Hai really, Ho Fan Bin, very convenient. Fan Bin is convenient. So so I'm on Dan Zhao Dim, Zhen Hai Ho Fan Bin. Booking accommodation online is very convenient. Next, Gang San Wu Jiu to renew your passport. Gang San Wu Jiu to renew your passport. Remember to check your passport before you travel, at least like a month before your departure date, because that has happened to so many friends of mine and even myself that we're traveling, getting everything ready. And right before you, we go to the airport, we realize our passport is expired. That's like a nightmare. And I don't think the travel insurance covers for that neither. So be careful. Gansan Wu Jiu. Gansan is renew, Wu Jiu is passport. You have to reserve enough time to renew your passport. Those things take time, really. Especially if you are living in, um, in a country that is not from your passport country. So, um, the Norwegian country. So, yeah. To reserve enough time for renewing a passport. Next. To pack. So you have pretty much everything ready. Now you have to to pack your suitcase. To pack. Zap is to tidy up together to um, pack things. Hanglei is suitcase or luggage. So to pack your luggage for the trip. Packing is really time consuming. Fa si gan is like to spend time, to spend a lot of time on something, so time consuming. Mm, some people, I know that some people, they just open the suitcase, throw everything in, close it and go to the airport like two hours before the, the traveling date. But for me, I don't know why it always takes so long because I'm worried that I would forget something. So I usually start packing maybe a week or even longer before the trip because you don't want to bring any extra thing, like unnecessary thing, and then you end up carrying it around and it's heavy. So I try to minimize my belongings and uh, use things that are versatile, clothing that are matching with each other, things like that. There are so many tips online for you, like how to pack your luggage in a more efficient way. So um, yeah, I highly recommend watching one of those if you're confused on um, how to pack and not overpack or underpack. Next, my him to buy travel insurance. My him to buy travel insurance. It is pretty critical to buy travel insurance. My family and I have used it in several occasions. Just for the safe sake, just for a peace of mind, right? Leiyao is trouble. him is insurance. So you can use like Yan Sao him life insurance or um, home insurance. Ga Goi him. So my Leiyao him to buy travel insurance. You can usually do that online or even some airport has kiosk where you can just buy it at the airport. So um, it's a very convenient way to give you a peace of mind for your trip. In a sentence, 出發前記得買旅遊保險以防萬一 Remember to buy travel insurance before you travel, just in case an accident happens. Accidents in, um, in Cantonese is actually called uh, 意外. 意 is mind, 外 is out. So it's something out of your mind, something that comes up without planning. So um, accidents, uh, something that is outside of your mind. Yes, so that's why it's important to buy insurance. Next, to get a visa. Some countries uh, require a visa for entry. So law is to obtain, to get. Timzeng is visa for um, 
for entering a country. In a sentence, 好多中东地区都需要游客攞签证先可以入境。Tourists are required to get a visa to enter the country in many Middle East areas. And for me, I know that I need to get visa for Vietnam, Russia, and Kenya countries like that. But I, I don't think I've obtained the visa for Middle East countries. But different passport has different powers. So, so let us know if you have ever obtained the visa for any Middle East countries. Today we talk about top ten ways to prepare your travel. I hope this list help you learn Cantonese as well as preparing your traveling. Summer is coming up soon, so maybe you'll be traveling somewhere. Let us know where you're traveling, and maybe other learners can give you some advice and recommendation on what to do there. Thank you for watching the video. If you like it, please subscribe to our channel. And、uh, there's a word list and explanation on different terms and vocabularies on our website, CantoneseClass101.com. Please check it out. It will be very helpful in、uh, learning words for your travel. So I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hi guys, welcome to Cantonese Top Words. My name is Olivia, and today we are going to talk about what are your top ten language learning goals for the year. 我会上晒 CantoneseClass101.com 嘅 survival phases 系列，每日听两课。I'll finish survival phrases series on CantoneseClass101.com by listening to two lesson a day. 我会上晒 CantoneseClass101.com 嘅 survival phrases 系列，每日听两课。I'll finish survival phrases series on CantoneseClass101.com by listening to two lesson a day. Two lesson a day. That's easy to achieve and that's a very good goal. Are you gonna do more lessons a day? Maybe. 我会睇晒一本中文书，每日睇十页。I'll finish reading one Chinese book by reading ten pages a day. Next， 我会睇晒一本中文书，每日睇十页。I'll finish reading one Chinese book by reading ten pages a day. That's great, but once you start reading a book, it's really hard to limit to only ten pages.、Uh, especially if it's a good story, I I cannot let the book go. I'll just stay up all night and. Read as much as I can. By the way, Chinese books—they are not written in like Cantonese because Cantonese is more like a spoken language. When once it's on a written form, it's similar to Mandarin, so the standard Chinese writing. So it will be a little different. For example, 我哋一齐 will be come 我们一起 So that's a bit different. But if you want to learn, you can still do it. My Cantonese seven will be perfect. I'll pass my Cantonese test. My Cantonese seven will be perfect. I'll pass my Cantonese test. Are you going to have a test soon? Good luck. I will every day watch Korean films until I understand the whole plot. I'll fully understand one Hong Kong movie by watching it every day. I will every day watch Korean films until I understand the whole plot. I'll fully understand one Hong Kong movie by watching it every day. That's actually a pretty good way. I never thought of it this way. 我会同讲广东话嘅朋友用广东话自我介绍三分钟。I'll give a three minutes introductory speech in Cantonese to my Cantonese friends. 我会同广广东话嘅朋友用广东话自我介绍三分钟。I'll give a three-minute introductory speech in Cantonese to my Cantonese friends. That's a very good practice, and they will be impressed. I'm sure. Three minutes—that's pretty long. I don't think I can even do it in my native language. <laughs> What do you talk about? Three minutes? I will memorize five Cantonese songs. 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 I'll memorize five Cantonese songs. A lot of people actually started learning Cantonese by listening to the songs, but then again,、um, most of the songs are in written form.、Uh, you get to learn a lot of vocabularies, but those are usually in written form. We don't sing the way you, we speak, so be careful. 我会用 CantoneseClass101.com 嘅认字卡，记住三百五十个字。I'll finish memorizing 350 words with flashcards on CantoneseClass101.com. I will use CantoneseClass101.com's 认字卡
記住三百五十個字。I'll finish memorizing 350 words with flashcards on CantoneseClass101.com. Wow, 350—that's a lot. Yeah, make use of our flashcard tool. They're really helpful. Normal language words, make use of our flashcard tool. They're really helpful. Normal language words, make use of our flashcard tool. They're really helpful. Normal language words, make use of our flashcard tool. They're really helpful. Normal language words, make use of our flashcard tool. They're really helpful. Normal language words, make use of our flashcard tool. They're really helpful. Normal language words, make use of our flashcard tool. They're really helpful. Normal language words, make use of our flashcard tool. They're really helpful. Normal language words, make use of our flashcard tool. They're really helpful. Normal language words, make use of our flashcard I'll write ten postcards in Cantonese to my Hong Kong friends. That's excellent, especially when you're traveling. Send a postcard to your friends, and、uh, good practice to write in Cantonese. 我会学识点讲过去、而家同将来发生嘅事。I'll learn how to talk about past, present, and future events. 我会学识点讲过去、而家同将来发生嘅事。I'll learn how to talk about past, present, and future events. One way to、um, really practice your language is to write a journal every day. You can write about、uh, what you did today, and what are you planning to do tomorrow, and stuff like that. That's a good way to practice past tense and future tense. 我每日记五个字，将会识得一百五十个字。I'll master 150 words by memorizing five words a day. 我每日记五个字，将会识得一百五十个字。I'll master 150 words by memorizing five words a day. So five words a day in a month, you learn 150 words. That's a pretty good progress. Remember to review. Don't just learn five words and then forget about it the next day. You always have to review to refresh your memories. That's how you remember the words. That's it for today. If you like this video, please、um, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to check out CantoneseClass101.com for more Cantonese fun stuff. I'll see you next time. My name is Olivia. Bye. Hi guys, welcome. 你好 my name is Olivia, and welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Today we're going to talk about ten ways to say hello. Hello, hello. So of course you can say in English like hello, or with the Cantonese accent hello. <laughs> so let's start with the word list. Hello, hello. The first word is hello. So it's hello, but with a Cantonese accent. It came from the English hello, of course. 早晨 Good morning. And the next is 早晨 Good morning. Joseon, good morning. So in the morning, like before noon, whenever you see people, you can say Joseon, Joseon, 先生早晨，警察叔叔早晨。你好 ，Hi, good day. 你好 ，That's like hi and good day. So 你好 literally means you well. So 你好 ，It's a bit formal or、um, Well, not exactly formal, but it's more for polite way to say it. So, I would say 你好 to say the security guard of the building. 你好，早晨。Hi, good morning. 大家好 ，Hello, everybody. 大家好 ，Hello, everybody. 大家好。So if I'm talking to a group of people, say I'm talking to you guys, you listeners and watchers, I will say 大家好，大家好啊。大家 means like everyone. 好 is well. So if it's one person, it's 你好 If it's group of people, say 大家好，大家好。好耐冇见 ，long time no see. 好耐冇见 ，long time no see. 好耐 ，long time. 冇見 ，no see, literally. So,、um, if I run into someone that I haven't seen in a long time, I say, "Why, 好耐冇見 Hey, long time no see. How have you been? 最近點啊 ？How have you been? 最近點啊 ？How have you been? 最近點啊 ？How have you been? You say this with people you haven't met for quite some time. So, 最近 is recently. And Dima is like, how is it? How's it going? So, how are you recently? How are you lately? Or you can combine all of them, like, hello, 好耐冇见，最近点啊？点啊 ？How's it going? 点啊 ？How's it going? This is very casual. I would use it with my friends. So, 点啊 ？Um, watch your tone because if you say it angrily, it's like 点啊 ？It's like, what do you want? <laughs> Or if you say it um with 
like without patience. You can say di ma. It's like, what do you want now? It's like, what now? So say it with a nice voice. Di、uh, ma. It's it's like, oh, how are you? How are you feeling? How have you been? 食咗饭未啊 ？Have you eaten yet? 食咗饭未啊 ？Have you eaten yet? So. Asian people love to eat, and we greet other by asking if they have eaten yet. <laughs> so, si chafan me ya? Have you eaten yet? Maybe I would use it around lunchtime, like one or two, to see if they have had lunch yet. But yeah, it's a very casual way to ask how someone is. 你几时翻嚟噶 ？When did you get back in town? 你几时翻嚟噶 ？When did you get back in town? So if you run into someone that you thought is not in town, you can say, "Wait, you're just coming back." How long no see? You're just coming back. Long time no see. When did you come back? Your parents' health is good? How are your parents? Your parents' health is good? How are your parents? Your parents' your parents. health is good? Health is body or health. Health is well. So literally, it means are your parents. Healthy? Are your parents well? So how are your parents? Hello. 好耐冇见。你父母身体好吗 ？Hello. Long time no see. How are your parents? Like if, ah,、uh, it's a nice way to greet people and ask about the the parents. So that's it for today. Today we talked about ten ways to say hello. Hi, hi, hi. And I'm gonna say goodbye now for now. And、uh, if you like this video, please. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to our channel, and check out CantoneseClass101.com for more Cantonese videos and Cantonese fun stuff. See you next time. My name is Olivia. Bye. Hi everybody. Welcome to CantoneseClass101.com's top words. My name is Olivia, and today we're in Macau, Ngo Mun, Macau. So here are top five words and phrases for Macau. The first word is. Casino, 赌场 Casino. So there is a big casino somewhere here. And 赌 means gamble, and 场 means arena or a place, a location. So 赌场 is where you gamble. Hmm. 去完赌场冇晒钱 After going to the casino, I'm broke. 过大海 Crossing the ocean is a phrase that we use to. Describe people going to Macau to gamble. So, 你又过大海啊 You're going to gamble in Macau again. So, 过大海 literally to cross the big ocean. And the next word is pao tart, Portuguese tart. It's one of the famous food in Macau, and I love it. 我想食葡萄。I want to eat Portuguese tart. It's kind of sweet. It's Kind of like egg custard in a puff pastry, and you should try it when you have a chance. And the next word is 猪仔包 pork sandwich, pork bun. 猪 is pig, 仔 is like little, so a little pig, and 包 is bread or bun. So 猪仔包 pork bun. It's kind of like a pork cutlet in a grilled bun with butter. In between, so it, it is pretty good. You should try it. 食完猪仔包好饱啊 After eating the pork bun, I'm all full. And the last word is 大三巴 the Great Sao Paulo Cathedral. It's one of the most famous attraction in Macau. It's a whole cathedral, and then fire and bomb destroyed it until only the front was caved. Only the front wall exists, so it's only a wall of the church that exists, and that's where everybody come and take picture at. Dai San Ba, Dai means big, the great. San Ba comes from Sao Paulo. In a sentence, 个个都去大三巴影相 Everybody take a photo at the great Sao Paulo Cathedral. So that's it for today. Today we talked about five words and phrases you need to know in Macau. So I hope you're visiting Macau soon and get to walk around, eat some food, and check out CantoneseCosmo1.com for more fun videos. I'm Olivia, and see you next time. Hatsikin. 
Hi everyone, welcome to CantoneseClass101.com's Top Words. My name is Olivia and today we are in Hong Kong and this is the famous Hong Kong skyline. So we're gonna talk about five words about the Hong Kong skyline. Here the tallest building is IFC, Guokzai Gam Yong Zhong Sam, International Financial Center, Guokzai International, Gam Yong Financial, Center, Zhong Sam, Guokzai Gam Yong Zhong Sam. There are a lot of shops and cinema and office there. So we go there. Also, it's close to the ferry station, the Star Ferry Station. So it's a place that I go a lot. Tin Seng Siu Lun, the Star Ferry. You might be able to see a lot of ferries in the Victoria Harbor. Tin Seng Siu Lun, the Star Ferry. It's the cheapest way to get between the two islands, not island, but the two districts from Hong Kong Island to Kowloon Peninsula. So I love it. It's a very relaxing way to cross the harbor. Weifeng Dai Ha, HSBC building. Weifeng Dai Ha, HSBC is a Hong Kong and Shanghai bank corporation, the bank name. So HSBC, this building is built by the British architect Norman Foster. I heard that the rumor, the design, the design was that they could take it apart in case they need to move the whole building to UK. But I'm not sure if that's true. But it's an interesting story. And the building with the triangles um, and the pointy tip, Zhongnan Dai Ha, Bank of China, the building of Bank of China. That is another very iconic building. At night, they all light up and it's very cool and special and it represents the Hong Kong skyline very nicely. And then last word is Hoi Gong Sing, Harbour City. We are in Harbour City. It's uh, right in front of the harbour, as you can see, and it's a big complex of office and restaurants and shopping mall and events, venues. So Harbour is Hoi Gong Sing, is city. So Hoi Gong Sing. These are the five main places in Hong Kong that everybody knows and visit very often, very frequently. I hope you like this video. My name is Olivia. See you in another video. Bye! <laughs>
So they name it Tamade in Cantonese. That's why the English and the Cantonese meaning are a little different. So in a sentence for Happy Valley Tamade, Tamade di Okpo Guai. The properties in Happy Valley are very expensive. Everything in Hong Kong is expensive. The in the area is a little bit more because it's it's kind of quiet because there's no MTR station there. You only take the tram or the taxi or drive there or walk there. So it's it's less crowded compared to other parts of Hong Kong. KC jockey. KC K means to ride, and C is the person who do that verb, the person who do that thing. So jockey for the horse racing needs to be very tiny, very small, or very lightweight. In a sentence, we can say that KC Most jockeys are around five feet tall, or even shorter, maybe. I don't know. I never really stand next to a jockey. If you know, please leave us a comment. The final station for tram railway. So the tram, which we call Ding Ding, goes from the east to the west of the Hong Kong Island. But in the center, where it goes to the Happy Valley, it kind of goes down, and there is a, a, a terminal there. So three terminals in Hong Kong Station. One in the west, one in the east, and one in the center, a little inside in the Happy Valley. So if you want to go to the horse racing course, you can take the tram, ding ding, and go to the final station, the terminus station. But make sure that the tram, the ding ding, says that they are going to Happy Valley because they have some that goes east, some goes to the west, and some goes to Happy Valley. Just make sure you get the one for Happy Valley, and then. You just wait until it gets to the final stop. Dou qin to gamble. Literally, dou is the verb to gamble, and then qin is money, so to gamble money. Funny thing is, it sounds the same. Dou sounds the same as throw away. Dou throw away. So to gamble means throwing away money. And there's a slogan that government used for a TV commercial telling people not to gamble, like not to get addicted to gambling. So it is. When you're addicted to gambling, it's the same as throwing money into the ocean. Makes sense, right? So "dou is like the formal word for gambling. But normally, when we talk about gamble, we say "dou qin." So "dou and "dou qin" they're the same, but "dou is more formal and usually in written form or the yeah, formal situation. And for those hin, we just use it every day. So, don't gamble or don't gamble your life away. Don't gamble your wife away. Don't gamble your house away. So, wish me luck for tonight. And I hope I won't lose a lot of money. I'm gonna gamble maybe a little, maybe a few bucks, a few bucks US dollars. So, I'll see you next time. My name is Olivia. And good luck if you gamble a little, if you gamble a lot or you're addicted to gambling, please try to stop yourself. <laughs> please try to control yourself. And I'll see you next time. Hatsiki! To Cantonese class top words. Today we are in Stanley Chu. Look, it's the beach at Stanley Chu. So five words for Chu Stanley. Chu Wing Tan, Chu Wing Tan, Stanley Beach. Chu is the area, it's a coastal town and it's a very laid back area, very nice beach. Tetsu Wing Tan Stanley Beach. Tetsu is Stanley and Wing Tan is the beach. There are a lot of people at Stanley Beach. Mei Lei Lao. Mei Lei Lao. Murray House. 
Mary House is a Victorian era building in Stanley. It used to be in Central, but they moved it here. It's a very nice building, and many people take wedding photos there. There are a few restaurants in the Murray House, and it has a very nice coast view. So it's a nice place to relax and watch the sunset. Murray House, Tetsu Dai Gai, Stanley Main Street. Tetsu again is the town name. Tetsu Dai Gai. Dai means big. Gai is street, so big street, so the main street. Tetsu Dai Gai. You will see a lot of restaurants and bars and pubs and shops and souvenir shops at Tetsu Dai Gai. Go to Tetsu Dai Gai buy souvenirs. Buy souvenirs at the Stanley Main Street. And there is a market there too, like a street market. Maybe you'll find something very cheap and good bargain. And the next word is Tetsu Guangchang, Stanley Plaza. Tetsu, Stanley. And Guangchang is Plaza. There are a lot of um, shops and restaurants and bars in there. You can have Chinese dim sum in the Stanley Plaza. Tetsu Guangchang, there are sometimes performances at the Stanley Plaza. Long Zhao Chai Si, Dragon Boat Race. Long Zhao is Dragon Boat, Long is Dragon. Zhao is like boat, ship. So Long Zhao Chai Si, Dragon Boat Race. Every year, there is one super big Dragon Boat Race. In 2018, it's on June 18th. And every year is a different date depending on the festival. So check it out when you're in town the dragon boat race and people would dress up and cheer for the team and some company would send their employees to compete in the dragon boat race it's a super big carnival there so if you're in town don't miss it but it's gonna be very hot so be prepared the dragon boat race at Stanley so that's it for today today we talked about five words that you need to know about Stanley Tetsu is a very nice town at the south part of Hong Kong Island, the very south, the bottom tip of Hong Kong Island. So check it out if you're in town. I'll see you next time. My name is Olivia. Bye! Want to speak real Cantonese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at CantoneseClass101.com. Hi guys, welcome to Top 25 Cantonese Phrases. These are phrases we use every day in Hong Kong and other Cantonese-speaking regions. Here we go. Hello. Hello. So it's pretty casual and you don't use it for formal situation. Zhou san. Good morning. Zhou san. We use it to greet other people before noon. It's both casual and formal, so let's say Zhou San. Zhou Tao. Good night. You say it before you go to sleep. Zhou Tao. Zhou Tao. Bye bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye bye. In Cantonese. Ngo Hai. I am or I'm. So you can use it to tell people your name, your occupation, your nationality, anything. Ngo Hai. What's your name? Say you meet someone new and you want to know their name. Say, That is pretty casual. You can say that to people around your age. What's your name? If you're talking to people that are more a higher rank or older, elderly, uh, you can say, uh, That's what's your name in formal situation. And then people usually tell you their surname. Say the last name is Wang. So, Dim Ting Fu. I'm Wang Zhang. I'm Mr. Wang. Long time no see. Say you bump into your friend on the street. Wei, how long no see? Da han yam cha. It's like, uh, hey, long time no see. Let's get together and have a drink or have lunch together. How are you lately? Hey, long time no see. How are you lately? 
好耐冇見，你最近點啊 ？Or it can be used casually with a friend. It's like, hey, what's up? 你最近點啊？你呢 ？How about you? In an exam, if I got a C, it's like, oh, a lost C. 你呢 ？It's like I got a C. How about you? I got an A. 唔該 ，please. If someone is blocking you in the movie theater, just tell them. 唔該坐低 ，please sit down. Don't block me. 多謝 ，thank you. Thank you very much for the gift. So 多謝 is for thank you, and there are actually two thank yous in Cantonese. 多謝 is when someone gives you a gift. 唔該 ，thank you. 唔該。Which you heard in please, so it means please and thank you as well. For this guy, this thank you, we use it when someone do something for us. Someone give you the change. Someone open the door for you, pick up a fruit for you. You say um guy is、uh, thank you for the service. 唔使客气 you're welcome. So in Cantonese, it's 唔使客气 There's literally no need to be polite. You're welcome. So when someone say, "Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry," you say, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry," just like that. Hi, yes. You are Olivia. Hi, like that. Hi, I'm 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 Olivia. Hi, like that. Hi, Excuse me, that is um guy again. So we heard um guy in three situations. Please, thank you, and now excuse me. So um, if someone is blocking your road, you can say um guy, um guy, um guy, and then they would unblock. They they would go away. If you want to ask someone on the street for the direction, you can say um guy, some or some man lo, um guy or some man lo. Excuse me, I want to ask about the direction. Um guy. To catch someone's attention. 唔好意思 I'm sorry. 唔好意思唔好意思 is like I'm sorry, but it's for a really minor issue. Like,、uh, someone step on your feet, and they should say 唔好意思 And I'm meeting my friends, and I'm late. I say 唔好意思对唔住 I'm sorry. For a more like more serious situation, for a major failure, you use 对唔住对唔住 is our next word, and.、Um, It means I like, I'm really sorry. 我整烂咗你部电脑，对唔住啊。I broke your computer. I'm so sorry. 我唔见咗你个仔啊，对唔住。I lost your son. I'm so sorry. I can't find your son. 而家几点 ？What time is it? 而家几点 ？What time is it? What time is it? 而家 is like now. 几点 is what time? 喺边啊 ？Where is something? Do do do. 喺边啊 Where is do do do? Ah, you wanna ask about the the washroom? It's like where is the washroom? 洗手间喺边啊洗手间 is washroom. 即系点啊 What do you mean? You can use it for many different situations when you're mad, when you want to、um, find out more about what the other person was talking about. All confused. So you can say, 即系点啊 To show your confusion or frustration, yeah. 几多钱啊 How much is it? Or you can say 几钱啊 It's the same as 几多钱啊几钱啊 You went to Apple Store and you want to buy something and you ask 几多钱啊 to to ask for the price. It's always expensive. 买单唔该 Check please. Yeah, you use it in a restaurant. You can do this, and they will understand. That means check please. 买单唔该 ，check please。迟啲见 ，see you later。And the last word is 迟啲见 ，I'll see you later。迟啲见 ，And I'm Olivia from Hong Kong。Hope you like the video。And if you want to learn more Cantonese,、uh, subscribe。And if you have any questions, leave us some comments. We would love to hear from you. See you next time。迟啲见。Hi guys。Welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Today we're going to talk about、um, the top twenty-five Cantonese verbs. We use it every day, every hour, a lot of the time. Let's check it out. Hi, B. Hi, B. I am Olivia.
I am Olivia. Hi, be somewhere. Notice that it's very similar to the last to be.、Uh, it's hi and hi. Hi is in six tones, and this one is in second tone. Hi, it means to be somewhere. It's、uh, always linked to a location in a sentence. Hi, 我喺香港 I'm in Hong Kong. 唔係 not be. 唔係 not be. 我唔係男人 I'm not a guy. I'm not a man. As you can tell, 有 have. 我有三隻狗 I have three dogs. They are really cute. 冇 not have. 冇 is the opposite of 有 which is、uh, to not have. 我冇钱 I don't have money. 我冇钱去 go. 去去 is to go. 我去 Hawaii. I go to Hawaii. 嚟 Come, 你嚟啦 You come over here. It's like you come here. 可以 can may. 可以 is um can or may. 我可以弹琴 I can play piano. 我可以弹琴要 want or need. 我要食饭 I need to eat rice or something. 我要食嘢 I need to eat something. 想 want to, would like to. 想想 is that want to or would like to. 我想 what did I want? 我想饮咖啡 I want to drink coffee. 啊我我想饮咖啡整 make. 整 to make. 我整鞋 I make shoes. 我整鞋做 do. 做功課 ，to do homework。做功課，食 ，eat。包 ，I eat a bun, a bread。我食包。飲 ，drink。飲 ，to drink。我飲茶 ，I drink tea。飲，我飲茶。中意 ，like。中意 ，to like， 嗯、um, ，to be fond of。我中意你啊 ，I like you。學 ，learn。學。To learn, 我学广东话 I learn Cantonese, so that's something you can tell people now that you saw our videos. 问 ask, 我问问题 I ask a question. 我问问题讲 say or speak. 讲 is say or speak. 我讲广东话 I speak Cantonese. 我讲广东话听 listen. 听 to listen. 听我聽音樂 ，I listen to the music. 諗 think. 諗 is、uh, to think. Think. 啊、uh, ，我諗，我諗我遲到。I think I'm late. 知道 know. 知道 is、uh, know something like know a fact. 我知道你呃我。I know you lied to me. 我知道 I know. Sick. Know or know how to. So sick is to know to be skillful of something. So 我識廣東話 I know Cantonese. You can tell people that now. 我識廣東話 I know Cantonese. 買 buy. 買 buy. 買鞋 to buy shoes. There are a lot of things we can buy. 睇 see. 睇 to see or to watch. For example, 睇戲 to watch a movie. 睇星星 to watch the stars in the sky. 走 leave. 走 to leave to go or to exit to leave. 我走啦 bye bye. I'm leaving now bye. And I'll see you next time in other Cantonese videos. If you'd like to check out more of our videos, please subscribe and check out Cantonese Class One Hundred One dot com. See ya. Hi guys. Welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Today we're going to talk about、um, the top twenty-five Cantonese verbs. We use it every day, every hour, a lot of the time. Let's check it out. Hi, B. Hi, B. 我系 Olivia. I am Olivia. Hi, be somewhere. Notice that it's very similar to the last to be. 
uh, is high and high. High is in sixth tones, and this one is in second tone, high. It means to be somewhere it's uh, always linked to a location. In a sentence, high. I'm in Hong Kong. Not be. Not be. I'm not a guy. I'm not a man. As you can tell. Have. I have three dogs. They're really cute. Not have. Mo is the opposite of yao, which is uh, to not have. No mo chin. I don't have money. No mo chin. Hu go. Hu hu is to go. No hu Hawaii. I go to Hawaii. Le come. Ne le la. You come over here. It's like you come here. Ho yi can may. Ho yi is um can or may. I can play piano. I can play want or need? I need to eat rice or something. I need to eat something. Sang want to, would like to. Sang sang is that to want to or would like to. No sang, what did I want? No sang. Yum I want to drink coffee. Zing make. Zing to make. I make shoes. Zhou do. Zhou gong to do homework. Zhou gong eat. Bao I eat a bun of bread or sick bao. Yum drink. Yum to drink. No yum cha. I drink tea. Yum no yum cha. Zhong yi like. Zhong yi to like, um, to be found of. No zhong yi na yu. I like you. Ho learn. Ho to learn. No ho guang dong wa. I learn Cantonese. So that's something you can tell people now that you saw our videos. Man ask. No man man tai. I ask a question. No man man tai. Gong, say or speak. Gong is say or speak. No gong gong dong wa. I speak Cantonese. No gong gong dong wa. Tang, listen. Tang, to listen. Tang, no tang yam no. I listen to the music. Lam, think. Lam is uh, to think. Think, uh, no lam. I think I'm late. 知道, know. 知道 is uh, know something, like know a fact. 我知道你呃我, I know you lied to me. 我知道, I know. Sick, know or know how to. So sick is to know, to be skillful of something. So 我识广东话, I know Cantonese. You can tell people that now. I know Cantonese. My buy. My buy. My high to buy shoes. There are a lot of things we can buy. Tai see. Tai to see or to watch. For example, Tai Hei to watch a movie. Tai Sing Sing to watch the stars in the sky. Zhao leave. Zhao to leave, to go, or to exit, to leave. Bye bye. I'm leaving now. Bye. And I'll see you next time in other Cantonese videos. If you'd like to check out more of our videos, please subscribe and check out CantoneseClass101.com. See ya. Hi guys, welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Today we're going to talk about 10 reasons to learn a language or 10 reasons to learn Cantonese. What is your reason? See if it's one of the following. I want to speak to my partner's family in their language. I know that a lot of people are dating Hong Kong girls or guys or married to Hong Kong guys or girls. So it would be really cool to speak in Cantonese with her or him or their family. Thumbs up if you're learning a language for him or her.
The language is useful for my job. What kind of job needs Cantonese? Let us know. I'm curious too. I love learning languages. Of course, who doesn't? It really opens up your mind. Once you learn a language, and then you'll learn more about the background, of the culture, and everything. It's really cool. I want to open my mind and become more international. So have you traveled to Hong Kong and speak with the locals in Cantonese? Let us, let us know how it turns out. I love traveling. Once you travel, you meet the locals and it will be cool if you can speak their language. And you can get more knowledge about their background, their culture, their methodology, their myths, manners, their customs, so much. It's an important part of my religion. What kind of religion do you need to learn Cantonese for? Well, someone told me they learn it for their meditation school. It's part of my university studies. If you study Cantonese, way to go! Not many universities have um, Cantonese class, I think. I live next to a country speaking that language. I think that if this is your case, do you live in China? I think mostly people who live next to Hong Kong or Macau that doesn't speak Cantonese is China. China? I want to understand my favorite songs, movies, and TV shows. Yeah, Hong Kong has really good movies that even got adapted by Hollywood movies like uh, The Departed by Martin Scorsese and a few others. You can check out the Cantonese movies. I love movies by uh, Stephen Chow. <laughs> movies that are made in Hong Kong. I live in a country that speaks the language. Where do you live? Do you live in Singapore? Macau? Hong Kong? So that's it for today. Today we talk about the 10 reasons to learn Cantonese or 10 reasons to learn a language. Please subscribe and check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com and please check out other Cantonese videos with me, Olivia. And I'll see you next time. Bye! Hi guys! Welcome back to Cantonese Top Words. Today we're going to talk about Top 10 foods that will kill you faster. So the first word is Tong candy. Tong. Kids, remember to brush your teeth after eating candies. Well, for adults too. Hei sui, soda or pop. Hei is carbonated and sui is water. So carbonated water is actually soda or pop. Which kind of soda do you like the most? When I was a kid, I used to drink cream soda mixed with milk, but I won't drink that anymore. <laughs> 公仔面, instant noodles. 我大学那阵成日吃公仔面。我大学那阵成日吃公仔面. When I was in university, I often eat instant noodles. Don't tell my mom. 能量飲品, energy drink. 这些能量飲品究竟有没有用的? Are these energy drink really helpful? Like, does it really wake you up? Let us know. Soupin, potato chips or crisps. There are some healthy chips on the market now. I don't know how much more healthy they are compared to normal potato chips. Which kind of potato chips do you like the most? Margarine. Margarine is plant. Now is butter. Butter made with plants is margarine. Margarine is really not the same as real butter. Which one do you prefer? Ga gong yok, processed meat. Ga gong is processed and yok is meat. Ga gong yok, processed meat. It's an hayo sexuality ga gong yok la. You better eat less processed meat. Recently, processed meat has been classified as a definite cause for cancer by the World Health Organization. Any kind of processed meat like Ham, sausage, bacon, 
spam, salami, all kinds of meat that were preserved in salt or other chemicals are bad. I know you love those, but try to eat less. Yin yok, bacon. Yin is smoke, yok is meat, so smoked meat somehow will become bacon. I know you love to eat bacon, but you better have less. Cup don't sick fun, frozen meals. Uh I have a lot of frozen meals in my freezer. Pinka is freezer. Yeah, I should cut down on it. May bolo pao go microwave popcorn. I don't usually eat microwave popcorn at home. So that's it for today. Today we talked about the top 10 foods that will kill you faster. Stay away from them unless you want to die faster. I hope you don't. Leave us a comment if you can think of any other food that might kill you faster or give us some healthy tips. Check out CantoneseClass101.com for the word list and subscribe to get more Cantonese videos. I'll see you next time. I'm Olivia. Bye! Hi guys! Welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Today we're going to talk about 10 New Year's resolutions. What's your New Year's resolution? Let's see if it's any of those on the list. Let's go! 儲錢, save money. 儲錢買樓, save money to buy a condo. 儲錢買車, save money to buy a car. Are you saving up money for anything? Tell us in the comment section. 睇多啲書, read more. I've been trying to read more books. Maybe one or two books a month. Wish me luck! <laughs> in a sentence, 睇多啲書可以學多啲生字. Reading more books can expand your vocabulary. 定時運動, exercise regularly. Are you exercising regularly? You should be. For my schedule, I try to exercise every morning at 7. 每朝早七點做運動 Every morning at 7, do exercise. 飲少啲酒, drink less. I don't really drink that much, but do you? Drink less. 飲少啲酒,傷身啊? Drink less is bad for your body. 陪屋企人多啲 Spend more time with family If you work a lot, people might tell you OT 少啲, 陪屋企人多啲啦 OT is actually O, O and T It means overtime, working overtime after hours So don't work overtime so much Spend more time with your family That's very important 食得健康啲, eat healthy Are you eating healthy enough? That's what my mom asks me every day. <laughs> I try to eat a bit of everything whenever I like. Yeah. <laughs> Eating healthy is a very popular topic now. 食得健康啲是現在很興的話題。減肥, lose weight, 減肥. Uh, a lot of girls say that they have to lose weight, but they're already very fit. I think a good way to lose weight would be doing exercise. 做運動減肥。do you exercise to lose weight? Gai Yin, quit smoking. I don't smoke, but if you smoke, you should quit. If you successfully quit smoking, people will tell you, Congratulations on quitting smoking. Learn something new. No matter your age, there is always something new to learn. Hmm, what are you trying to learn other than Cantonese? <laughs> Tell us in the comment section. Yong Cantonese Class 101.com Hokwangdongwa. Study Cantonese with Cantonese Class 101.com. Yay! Good for you! Dozene Yong Cantonese Class 101.com Hokwangdongwa. Thank you for learning Cantonese with Cantonese Class 101.com. Tell us how you're doing. And um, any other topic that we want us to talk about, just leave it in the comment section. We read it. I read it. So please subscribe and check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com. 
and I'll see you next time in other Cantonese videos. I'm Olivia. Bye. Try to stick to your New Year's resolutions. Want to speak real Cantonese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at CantoneseClass101.com. Hi! Welcome to Cantonese Top Words. I'm Olivia. Today we're going to talk about must know expressions for agreeing and disagreeing. Here we go. I couldn't agree with you more. I couldn't agree with you more. Me? Faisang, very much. Tong yi, agree. So I agree with you a lot. Like, I agree with you very much. I couldn't agree with you more. Ngotum hang ding. Well, I'm not sure. Ngotum hang ding. Well, I'm not sure. Hang ding is sure. Mm hang ding is not sure. So I'm not sure. Ngotum hang ding. Dong yin. Of course. Dong yin. Of course. Or a more casual way would be Gang hai la, for sure. Ngo lam hai gam, I guess so. Ngo lam hai gam, I guess so. Ngo lam is I think, hai gam as is. So I think so, I think that is the case. Ngo jing shang gong, I was just going to say that. Ngo jing shang gong, I was just going to say that. Jing shang is about to, I was going to. So, gong is to say, to speak. Haya ne gong de ngam. Yes, you're right. Haya ne gong de ngam. Ngam is correct or right. So, haya ne gong de ngam. Yes, you're right. Ne cho la. You're wrong. Ne cho la. You're wrong. Cho is wrong or mistake. So, ne cho la. You're wrong. Ngo lam hai. I don't think so. Ngo lam hai. I don't think so. Ngo lam is I think. Mm hai is to be not. So I think it's not the case. I don't think so. Ho lang la. Maybe. Ho lang la. Maybe. Ho lang is probably or maybe. So ho lang la. Maybe. Ngo m tong yi. Mm da. I don't agree. No. Ngo m tong yi. Mm da. I don't agree. No. Tong yi is agree, mm tong yi is not agree. So mm da is like, no, that's not possible. That's not doable. So that's it for today. Today we talked about must know expressions for agreeing and disagreeing. Do you have any more? Please leave us a comment. Please subscribe and check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com. I'm Olivia. See you next time. Bye. Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to Cantonese Top Words. I'm Olivia, and today we are going to talk about how to respond to "How are you?" Nihou ma. So in this lesson, we're going to see a bunch of the responses to "How are you?" Here we go. Nihou ma. How are you? Nihou ma. How are you? Nei is you. Ho is good or well. So you well. Nei ne. And you, ne ne, and you, ne is you. So ne is the question word. You and you, ne zhui gan di ma. How have you been recently? Ne zhui gan di ma. How have you been recently? Zhui gan is recently or lately. So how are you lately? Ne zhui gan di ma. Di ma is like how how is it? How are you? Ngo hou hou. I'm fine. Ngo hou hou. I'm fine. I'm very good. Ngo hou hou. Ngo ge hou. I'm not bad. Ngo ge hou. I'm not bad. I'm pretty good. Ge hou is pretty good. Ngo do ge hou. I'm fine too. Ngo do ge hou. I'm fine too. I'm pretty good too. Do is also or too, so I'm also well. Ngo hou ngan fun. I'm sleepy. Ngo hou ngan fun. I'm sleepy. Ngan fun is sleepy. 我情绪好差 ，I'm feeling bad。我情绪好差 ，I'm feeling bad or I'm feeling low。情绪 is like my mindset。差 is bad， 差 bad。我 OK 啦 ，I'm OK。我 OK 啦 ，I'm OK。So you just use OK。我 OK 啦。多谢关心 
Thank you for asking. 大家在关心 ，Thank you for asking. It's like thank you for caring about me, literally. So 大家在关心 ，I hope you guys are all feeling great after this lesson. So today we talked about how to respond to how are you. I hope you guys are all feeling terrific after this lesson. Please leave us a comment, subscribe, and check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com. And I'll see you next time in other Cantonese videos. I'm Olivia. See you next time. Bye. Hatsuki. Hi everyone. Welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Today we are going to talk about 20 travel phases you should know. Are you traveling to Hong Kong anytime soon or Macau? Let us know in the comment section. So here we go. 我可唔可以要张地图 ？Could I get a map? 我可唔可以要张地图 ？Could I get a map? So you can always find a travel information center near most attractions and get a map, or just download it online. 你识讲英文吗 ？Do you speak English? 你识讲英文吗 ？Do you speak English? 你识讲 It's like you know how to speak. 英文 is English. Ma is the question particle, so you can substitute any other languages in this question. For example, 你识讲法文吗 ？Do you speak French? 法文 is French. 你识讲日文吗 ？Do you speak Japanese? 你识讲国语吗 ？Do you speak Mandarin? 呢度有冇巴士由机场去市区 ？Is there a bus from the airport to the city? 呢度有冇巴士由机场去市区 ？Is there a bus from the airport to the city? 巴士 is bus. It sounds very similar. It's actually a loan word. So 巴士 bus bus bus. 机场 is airport. 市区 is city. It's like city center or downtown. So there are a lot of airport bus that brings you to different parts of the city. It's very convenient. Wi-Fi 系咪免费 ？Is the Wi-Fi free? Wi-Fi 係咪免費 ？Is the Wi-Fi free? 免費 is free. So most places have free Wi-Fi, like cafes or restaurant. They they would provide free Wi-Fi all around Hong Kong. 今晚有冇房 ？Do you have any vacancies tonight? 今晚有冇房 ？Is there any vacancy tonight? This is a question you ask at the hotel or hostel. So 今晚 is tonight. It could be 今晚 or 今晚 is the same. 有冇 is like is there any 房 is room. So is there any room available for tonight? Or do you have any vacancies for tonight? 我可唔可以转房 Could I move to a different room? 我可唔可以转房 Could I move to a different room? 我可唔可以 Can I? 转房转 is like to change to turn. Fang is room, so can I change to another room? 我订咗房 I have a reservation for a room. 我订咗房 I have a reservation. So this is a sentence you use at the hotel or hostel. Fang is room, so 订房 is to make a reservation for a room. 订咗房 is the past tense, so 我订咗房 is like I have made the reservation for a room. Before you go to the hotel, you book a room, and then when you arrive, you just tell them. 我订咗房 ，and then they will ask you for your last name, and they will find your booking. 唔该，可唔可以要个 menu? Could we have the menu, please? 唔该，可唔可以要个 menu? Could we have the menu, please? 唔该 is please or excuse me. 可唔可以 may we or can we or can I may I? So menu is the same as in English. We just say menu in Hong Kong. That's the most common. So 唔该，可唔可以要个 menu? This is the question you use in a restaurant. 你有冇咩推介 ？Do you have any recommendations? 你有冇咩推介 ？Do you have any recommendation? So when I travel to a new city, trying new restaurant, I will always ask, "What's your recommendation?" 你有冇咩推介？唔该，埋单。Check please. 唔该，埋单。Check please. 唔该 is please or excuse me. So in this case, is please. I want to check please. So. Um, check please. 唔该，买单。买单 is to wrap up the bill, to settle the bill. So 买单 check please. That's the sentence you will hear a lot or you will use at the restaurant. 我对花生敏感。I'm allergic to peanuts. 我对花生敏感。I'm allergic to peanuts. 唔该，要啲水。Water please. 唔该，要啲水。
water, please. Mungai again is like please or excuse me. You the so it's like I want some water. So water, please. Ni ga gei qin. How much is this? Ni ga gei qin. How much is this? Ni ga is this. Gei qin is how much. So how much is this? Ni ga gei qin. This is a question you will use at shop or store whenever you go shopping. You can ask ni ga gei qin. In Hong Kong, most of the shop already have the price tag listed, so you might not have to ask that question that much. I use sabgo ni ga. I like ten of these. I use sabgo ni ga. I want ten of this. I use sabgo ni ga. I use is like I want. Sabgo is ten. Ni ga is this. So I want ten of these. I buy ni ga. I like this. I buy ni ga. I like this. I'll buy this literally. So I buy is I buy. Ni ga is this. So I buy this. So I like this. That's what you say to the clerk when you are at a shop and you already chose something, and you can tell him or her like, "I want this one." Ngo yu ni ga. Ham ha yi bei ga zi tao ngo a. Could you give me a discount? Ham ha yi bei ga zi tao ngo a. Could you give me a discount? So this is how you ask for a discount. For example, if you're buying ten coin purse at the same time, you can ask for a discount. Ngo yu sub ga ni ga. 可唔可以俾个折头我啊？收唔收信用卡 ？Do you take credit card？ 收唔收信用卡 ？Do you take credit card？ 信用卡 is credit card， so 收 is to receive to accept， so 收唔收 is do you accept？ and then 信用卡 credit card， do you accept credit card？ Do you take credit card？ It's quite common for shops in Hong Kong to take credit card unless it's like very small scale， uh family run shop。But yeah, most shops take credit card. 车站喺边 Where is the train station? 车站喺边 Where is the train station? 车站 in this case can apply to subway station or bus station. If you want to specify, say subway station, you can ask. 地铁车站喺边地铁 is subway in Hong Kong. So 地铁车站喺边 Where is the subway station? Or where is the bus station? Would be 巴士站喺边 So bus stop is bus stop. So stop is station or stop. So, 车站喺边 is mostly understood as、um, where's the train station. 请问几钱 Excuse me, what's the fare? 请问几钱 Excuse me, what's the fare? 请问 is like may I ask or excuse me? Ah,、uh, 几钱 is like how much? So in this case, 请问几钱 or just 几钱 We use it at a train station or a bus or a minivan or taxi. It's like asking about the fare, the fee you have to pay to take this transportation. So, 请问几钱 How much is it like for the fare? 唔该，你可唔可以帮我影张相 Could you take a picture of me, please? 唔该，你可唔可以帮我影张相 Could you take a picture of me, please? 唔该 is like please, excuse me. 可唔可以 is like could you like can you please can you 帮我 is for me. 影张相 is to take a picture. So 唔该，你可唔可以帮我影张相 Could you take a photo for me, please? Could you take a picture for me, please? So that's it for today. Today we talked about twenty travel phrases. You can totally use it in Hong Kong or Macau or any other Cantonese-speaking regions. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com. You can make your own flashcards and study on the plane on the way there. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi guys, my name is Olivia, and welcome back to Cantonese Top Words. Today we're going to talk about ten must know math words. Do you like math? I do. Many people don't. So here we go. So hot. Math, 数学 math, 数学系我最中意嘅科目。The subject I like most is mathematics. 数学系我最中意嘅科目。科目 is subject, and 中意 is like 最 the most. So 最中意 is the one I like the most. My favorite. 号码 number. Next, 号码 number. 唔该，写低你个名同电话号码。Please write down your name and phone number.
电话号码 is phone number. 电话 is phone. 号码 is number. And sometimes in Hong Kong, you would hear people just say "lamba," which is a loan word from number. So "lamba," you can also use that. It's much easier than "homa." Yet bone half. Yet bone half. Bone is half, so what half of a whole is half. 佢将一半嘅财产捐俾慈善机构 He donated half of his property to a charity organization. That's very nice. 我食咗半个蛋糕 I ate half a cake. 百分之 percentage. So next, 百分之 percentage. 百分之 something. 百分之二十 is、uh, twenty out of a hundred, so twenty percent. 百分之十 ten percent. 百分之 means out of a hundred, so after 百分之 you put the number that is the percentage. 百分之十 ten percent. 今年营运有百分之十嘅增长 There is a ten percent growth in business this year. Yay! 双数 even number. 双数 even number. 双 is a pair. 呢、这个星期嘅六合彩中奖号码全部都系双数。The winning numbers of this week's March six are all even numbers. March six is a lottery in Hong Kong. 单数 odd number. Next, 单数 odd number or odd. Um, 一三五七九都系单数 One, three, five, seven, nine. Those are odd numbers. 计算 to calculate. 计算 to calculate. 经过科学家嘅精密计算。终于成功研发太阳能汽车。Through the precise calculations of the scientists, finally the solar power vehicle automobile is successfully invented. 加 plus， 加 plus， 加加 plus， 一加一系二 ，one plus one is two。Or we can use it in a more complicated sentence. For example. 屋租好貴，仲要加埋水費同電費嘅開支。The rent is so expensive, plus the expenditure for water and electricity. 減 minus next 減 minus 減 just so 啊二減一係一 ，two minus one is one. 成 times next 成成 times or multiply 成。六乘四等于廿四，六四廿四。So um, six multiplied by four is twenty-four. So today we talked about ten must-know math words, and、um, please let us know if you hate or you love math. Leave it in the comment section. Please subscribe to our channel as well and check out CantoneseClass101.com. And I'll see you next time. My name is Olivia. Bye. See ya. Hi guys, welcome to CantoneseClass11.com's Top Words. My name is Olivia, and today we're going to talk about 15 must-know family words. Here we go. 屋企人 family. 屋企人 family. 屋企 is home. 人 is people. So people in our home is our family. 屋企人 in a sentence. 佢重視工作多過屋企人。He values his job more than his family. Oh, that's really bad. Please don't do that. Please value your family more. 重視你屋企人多啲。爸爸 ，father。Next， 爸爸 ，father。爸爸帶我去睇足球比賽。Father takes me to watch soccer game。老公 ，husband。老公 ，husband。佢唔单止系一个好老公，仲系个好爸爸。He is not only a good husband, but also a great father. 仔 son， 仔 son。我有两个仔，一个女。I have two sons and one daughter. 哥哥 older brother。哥哥 older brother。我同哥哥去公园玩。My older brother and I go play in the park. When I was younger, I always wanted a, an older brother, and I would ask my mom for an elder brother, and she was like, "You're too late. <laughs> you can only have a younger brother or younger sister." But I didn't want it.
Only one and elder brother. So next, 细佬 younger brother. 细佬 younger brother. 我成日同细佬打交 I always fight with my younger brother. 爷爷 paternal grandfather. 爷爷 paternal grandfather. 逢星期日我都会去探我爷爷 I visit my grandfather every Sunday. Do you visit your grandfather? 孙仔 grandson. 孙仔 grandson. 佢好锡佢个孙仔 He loves her grandson so much. So um, when you go to visit your 爷爷 your grandfather, he will say, "Oh, my grandson is here." 我个孙仔嚟咗 Yeah. 妈妈 mother. 妈妈 mother. 佢妈妈系个教师 His mother is a teacher. 我妈妈系个教师 My mother is a teacher. 女 daughter. Next, 女 daughter 女嗯，佢个女好靓 Her daughter is very pretty. 你个女好乖 Your daughter is very good, like behaving very well. 妹妹 younger sister. 妹妹 younger sister. 呢个系我妹妹 This is my younger sister. 老婆 wife. 老婆 wife. 佢老婆两年前过身 His wife died two years ago. That is so sad. Um, 呢个系我老婆 This is my wife. 呢个系我老公 This is my husband. 孙女 granddaughter. 孙女 granddaughter. 我孙女今日翻嚟 My granddaughter is coming back today. So when a granddaughter is traveling or studying elsewhere, so the grandfather or grandmother might tell people happily that 我孙女今日翻嚟啊 Oh, my granddaughter is coming back today. 婆婆 maternal grandmother. 婆婆 maternal grandmother. 佢婆婆九十岁 His grandmother is ninety years old. 公公 maternal grandfather. 我公公九十三岁 My grandfather is ninety-three years old. So paternal grandfather is 爷爷 and maternal grandfather is 公公 Paternal grandmother is 妈妈 and paternal、uh, maternal grandmother is 婆婆 Cantonese or most Chinese dialects have all these different names for for different people. Depending on which side of the family they're from, if they're younger or older, it's very complicated. I just love how in English you can just call everyone uncle, auntie, cousin, grandfather, grandmother with the, all the different terms. When I was younger, it was super hard to memorize everything. It's like so gong so po gu ma gu zhe. They're all there's like all different terms. So today we talked about fifteen family words, but there are so many different terms in Cantonese. If you know any of those special terms I mentioned, you can leave it in the comments or feel free to ask how to say say your mom's younger brother's wife or whatever. They're all different, so feel free to ask in the comment section. Please subscribe to our channel if you like this video and check out CantoneseClass101.com. And I'll see you next time. My name is Olivia. Bye. Hatsikin. Hi guys, welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Today we're going to talk about ten ways to remember words. Remember words. It's always hard for me to remember new terms or new vocabularies. Let's see what are、sort the of way to improve that. 我不断重复读写同埋讲啲字 I use repetition, reading, writing, and speaking words over and over again. First one is. 我不断重复读写同埋讲啲字。I use repetition, reading, writing, and speaking the words over and over again. Keep saying it. 读书，读书，读书，读书，读书 ，until it doesn't mean anything to you, and then somehow you will remember. 我大声读啲字，等我自己可以听清楚。I say words out loud so that I can actually hear them. Next tip is, 我大声讲啲字，等我自己可以听清楚
I say the words out loud so that I can actually hear them. So some people, when they study a language, they just they just read it from the book or they listen to the video or audio, but they never actually pronounce them out loud. So this is actually a very helpful tip. You have to say it out loud and hear it in your own voice. That way, you can remember the words better. 我学啲单词嘅来源同埋唔同嘅字点样串连一齐。I learn about the roots of words and how different words are related to each other. Next tip is 我学啲单词嘅来源同埋唔同嘅字点样串连一齐。I learn about the roots of words and how different words are related to each other. Especially in Cantonese, it's very easy to link words together because sometimes it has a cool words that relate everything about that with that character. So, for example, car is te, and a garage would be te fong. So, the room for the car. You still have the word te in. All the terms that are about cars. That's very useful, right? 我尝试喺日常生活当中用呢个语言。I try to use the language routinely in the context of daily life. 我尝试喺日常生活当中用呢个语言。I try to use the language routinely in the context of daily life. Say you're learning Cantonese and you can go to Chinatown. Buy some vegetables, fruits. While you're there, you can talk to the people in Cantonese. 给钱啊，便宜啦。How much is it? Give it to me for cheaper price. 我将啲字同图画、相同埋得意嘅场面联系起嚟。I associate words with drawings, pictures, and funny scenes. Next tip is. 我將啲字同圖畫、相同埋得意嘅場面聯繫起嚟。I associate words with drawings, pictures, and funny scenes. So you can make a funny story in your mind. Some people say the character for a little is like a little penguin walking. Link it with any image, especially with Chinese characters. They are just like paintings. That would really help. 我听歌，然后记住啲歌词。I listen to songs and memorize the lyrics. Next, 我听歌，然后记住啲歌词。I listen to songs and memorize the lyrics. That's actually a very good way to learn new languages. Maybe not so much for English. <laughs> Now that the songs are like work, 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 a repetition of some meaningless words. I don't know. 尽量多阅读。尤其係報紙可以幫我記住啲單詞。Reading as much as possible, especially the newspaper, helps me to remember words. Next tip is 盡量多閱讀，尤其係報紙可以幫我記住啲單詞。Reading as much as possible, especially the newspaper, helps me to remember words. While you're reading the articles or the newspaper, there are always some Characters, some terms that you can pick out, and that would help the words sit in your mind. 我成日睇嗰啲为小朋友而设嘅电视或者 YouTube 影片。I often watch TV or YouTube videos that are designed for young children. Next tip is: 我成日睇嗰啲为小朋友而设嘅电视或者 YouTube 影片。I often watch TV or YouTube videos that are designed for young children. Why those for young children? Because they're easier and they're slower and they are clean and they are easier for learners to absorb new information. 我将新嘅单词同自己母语入面差唔多发音嘅字联系一齐。I associate new words with words that sound similar in my native language. Next one is 我将新嘅单词同自己母语入面差唔多发音嘅字联系一齐。I associate new words with words that sound similar in my native language. That is very helpful. It's even easier for Cantonese because we have so many words that came from English. For example, bus, bus came from English bus. And strawberry is strawberry, strawberry. Cherry is cherry. So that's how a lot of Cantonese words were made. 
。我尝试用广东话嚟谂嘢，令到我嘅思考过程自然啲。I try to think in Cantonese so it becomes natural to my thought process. Next tip is， 我尝试用广东话嚟谂嘢，令到我嘅思考过程自然啲。I try to think in Cantonese so it becomes natural to my thought process. If you're thinking in a new language, that really helps you in building up the grammar or the syntax, everything about the language. So please try these tips. They will help you remember the new words you learn in another language. Please subscribe so we have more fun videos for you in Cantonese with me, Olivia. Also, check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, guys. Welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Today, we're going to talk about ten happy words. Happy, 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 happy. Let's go. First word is 开心 happy. 乜嘢令你开心呢 What makes you happy? Tell us in the comments. 正 wonderful or awesome. 正呢、这个地方好正啊 ！This place is awesome. 搞笑 funny. 佢好搞笑，最啱去做喜剧。He is very funny. He should become a comedian. Do you know anyone who is very funny? 靓 beautiful. 今日天气好靓，所以我好开心。It's a beautiful day today, so I'm happy. 笑 laugh. 笑下心情都会好啲。Laughing can lift your spirit. 精神。Lively,、uh, in good spirit or full of vitality, 精神。你睇落好精神喎。You look like you're full of energy. 中意 like 我中意笑。I like to laugh. 兴奋 excited 兴奋啊。谂起嚟紧嘅旅行就超级兴奋啊。I'm super excited for the upcoming trip. 满意 satisfied. 我对呢间酒店非常满意。I'm very satisfied with this hotel. 放松 relax. I feel relaxed when I'm near the ocean. 去到海边，个人即刻放松晒。So that's it for today. Today we talked about ten happy words. Which word do you like the most, and what makes you happy? Tell us in the comment section. And I'll see you next time. I'm Olivia. Bye. Hi everyone! Welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Upon request, a lot of you request that we're making a list for ten Hong Kong foods. Let's see if any of your favorite foods is in the list. Let's start. Yum yum yum. First word is ha gao, shrimp dumpling. Ha gao is 点心嘅一种 Shrimp dumpling is a kind of dim sum. It's steamed in a rice, glutinous rice skin. Oh, it's so good! I want some right now. Yu dan, fish ball. Yu dan. So they are fish balls. <laughs> If you're walking on the street in Hong Kong and you see people selling fish balls, you can just say, "Oh, 俾串鱼蛋我啊 Give me one skewer of fish ball. Usually that's like four or five fish balls on one skewer. Oh, 咖喱魚蛋 You can ask for 咖喱魚蛋 curry fish balls. Those are really good. 唔該，俾串咖喱魚蛋我 Please give me a skewer of、uh, curry fish ball. 燒賣 pork dumplings. 燒賣 is also a kind of dim sum, and it's steamed in one of those bamboo dim sum boxes. Sometimes they have more choices than pork. Sometimes they have scallop or shrimp, even abalone. In the dumpling, 唔該俾龍燒賣我啊 ！Please give me one order of the steamed dumpling. 一龍 is the measure word for those bamboo cases for dim sum. So 一龍燒賣 one bamboo case of steamed dumpling. Usually there are like three or four inside. So it's best for sharing. 叉燒包 barbecue pork bun. That's my favorite. There's actually a baked barbecue pork bun that is super delicious and very famous in Hong Kong. Try it if you can. Cha siu is barbecue pork and put it in a bun. Cha siu bao bao is bun. 呢度嘅叉烧包好出名，你一定要试啊 ！The barbecue pork bun here is very famous. You've got to try it. Dan tan egg tart. 
Pakistan, tart egg tart, ooh, one of my favorite. Whenever I'm traveling, I would crave for egg tart. It's a pastry with kind of like a custard baked inside the pastry. It's best to eat it warm or hot. It's kind of like a warm custard. Oh, so good. I'm, I want some now. Also, the other version is Portuguese egg tart. Pou tart, pou is for Portuguese. Those are really good too. A, a bit sweeter than the normal egg tart. Bindo hoi mai dan tart. Where can I buy egg tarts? That's a tough question whenever I go traveling. Gai dan zai egg waffle. They actually look like bubble wraps, like big versions of bubble wraps about this big and a whole bunch of them and they're like waffles so crunchy on the outside, soft in the inside. When I was in high school there's an old man selling gai danzai outside my school. He's like the most popular guy on the street. I want to eat the egg waffles that that old man made. That is like the best ever. Siu ngo, roasted goose. Siu ngo is a kind of the barbecue meat in Hong Kong that's very famous. Very oily but crispy. Sometimes we eat it with rice, sometimes with noodles, sometimes we wrap it in a bun. Many ways to eat it. Oh, I want some now. Siu ngo is very delicious. Try it. So there is actually an area in Hong Kong that's has two or three very famous roast goose restaurant. It's called Sam Zhang. So Sam Zhang Siu Ngo Ho Chut Mang. The Sam Zhang roast goose are very popular. I have been there. It's a bit similar to what they have in other area, but it's always nice to try. Yin Wo Bird's Nest. That's like swallow bird's nest. Not sure if you've heard of it, but it's supposed to be really good for the skin, for ladies. It has a lot of collagen, estrogen, uh, vitamins, minerals, whatever. Yeah, it's up in wall. Bird's nest cooked in coconut milk. That's a very popular Hong Kong dessert. I know how to make bird's nest in coconut milk. Come try it sometimes, but you have to buy the bird's nest. <laughs> I don't have any at home, and those are very expensive. Next is Chong Yao Bang Green Onion Pancake. That's like the Chinese version of Nam, of tortilla. I don't know. It's made with green onion and oil. Sometimes they put other kinds of onion in there too. It's good to go with strong flavor stew. I like the green onion pancakes from Shanghainese cuisine. So there are many types of green onion pancakes and the kind that the Shanghainese made are my favorite. Bolo bao, pineapple bun. Bolo is pineapple, bao is bun, pineapple bun, but there is no pineapple in the pineapple bun. I know that in Japan they call it melon pan. So Japan is melon and in Cantonese it's pineapple. And I think in Mexico they call it the seashell bun. It's a sweet bread. Somehow it's very famous uh, in Hong Kong because they serve it with a really thick layer of butter. It's kind of sweet and salty at the same time. Oh, so good. And they're pretty cheap too. So that's it for today. Today we talked about 10 Hong Kong foods. Is there any of those your favorite? Let us know what other Hong Kong food you like. Also leave a comment in the section now help you find all the food you want to try in Hong Kong. Please subscribe and check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com and I'll see you next time in other videos. I'm Olivia. Bye! Hi guys, welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Today we're going to teach you 10 phrases for bad students. I know you're not bad students because you're watching the video, but we thought it'll be fun. Let's start! 走堂, skip class. 走堂, skip class. Because he skipped class yesterday, he doesn't know that we have to hand in the homework today. Treat him well. 冇做功課, not do homework. Next, 冇做功課, not do homework. 
暑假咁长，你都冇做功课。The summer holiday was so long, and you still didn't do your homework. Yes, in Hong Kong, actually, in、uh, summer holidays, we do have homework. 上堂瞓觉 ，sleep in class. Next, 上堂瞓觉 ，sleep in class. 上堂瞓觉 ，that's bad. That would be very depressing for the teacher. 千祈唔好上堂瞓觉 ，don't you ever sleep in class. Okay. 出言出貌 ，cheat on a test. 出言出貌 ，cheat is test, and cheat mouth literally is to put a cat out, but actually in Cantonese it means cheating. 佢出言出貌，所以先生俾零分佢。She cheated on the test, so the teacher decided to give her zero marks. That's usually how teachers do if they caught you cheating. They will just mark your paper zero. 上堂傾偈 ，chat in class. Next is 上堂傾偈 ，chatting in class. 傾偈 is to talk. Normally, 傾偈 is good, but if you talk in class, that is again not respective to the teacher. 佢哋上堂傾偈，嘈住我聽書。They are chatting in class, so I cannot hear what the teacher was saying. Yes, not only is not respective to the teacher, it's annoying to the other students too. 逃学 ，truant. Next word is 逃学 ，truant. 逃学 literally to run away from school. <laughs> There's actually a very famous、uh, movie, a very funny movie called 逃学威龙 Fight Back to School. Check it out. It's about a grown man who is a police and have to disguise as a student in the school for investigation. It's by Stephen Chow, and I hope you will watch it and like it. I like it a lot. Hailing, bully. The next word is hailing, bully. How you hailing? School bullying. That's a very serious issue for the education department to solve. Luckily,、um, bullying in Hong Kong isn't that bad. I've heard even worse in、um, other countries. Liu Gao Da. Start a fight. 撩交打 to start a fight. 撩交打，你系咪想撩交打啊 ？You wanna start a fight? We always hear that in some Hong Kong movies. I don't know. They just like fighting. 唔守规矩 ，not follow rules. Next word. 唔守规矩 ，not following rules. I used to be the kind of student who doesn't like following rules. I mean, I would break the rules a little bit. Just enough to not get into too much of a trouble. Small things like wearing a boots instead of shoes or dyeing my hair to dark brown or something like that. <laughs> Little things like that. Have you done anything that is against school rules? 抄杂 plagiarism. Next word is 抄杂 plagiarism. 抄 is to copy, but How that would be the term for plagiarism? The term for copying the work from others, usually online or from other books, and you think you'll never get found out, but you always get found out. The teachers always have a way, and they always know if that's your own word or not. How that is a very serious crime. Plagiarism is a serious crime, so don't do plagiarism. So that's it for today. Today we had. Ten phrases for bad students. I hope you have done none of those. And if you have, let us know what you did. Yeah, please subscribe. Check out more Cantonese videos by CantoneseClass101.com. And I'll see you next time. I'm Olivia. Bye. Hi everyone. Welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Today we're going to talk about top ten compliments you always want to hear. Everybody loves compliments, right? So here we go. 你好靓仔 ，You are handsome. 你好靓仔 ，You are handsome. 靓 means pretty, and 仔 is kind of like boy, so pretty boy, handsome. If you want to say it to a girl, you can say, 你好靓女 ，You're pretty. Next, 你好叻 ，You're smart. 你好叻 ，You're smart. 叻 is the adjective for smart. So you can say that to kids or adults, and we all love to hear that.
You're smart. 你好叻。你系一个好好嘅朋友。You are an awesome friend. 你系一个好好嘅朋友。You are an awesome friend. Are you an awesome friend? <laughs> 好好 means like very good. 朋友 is friend. So 你系一个好好嘅朋友。You are an awesome friend. Next. 你嘅内在美仲靓过你嘅外在美。Your inside is even more beautiful than your outside。你嘅内在美仲靓过你嘅外在美。Your inside is even more beautiful than your outside。内在美 means inner beauty， and 外在美 is outer beauty， like appearance。So 内 is in， 外 is outside。It sounds very similar， but be careful。So 内。And noy outside, and noy inside. 你嘅内在美仲靓过你嘅外在美。Your inside is even more beautiful than your outside. 你嘅履历好出色。Your resume is impressive. 你嘅履历好出色。Your resume is impressive. We usually hear this when we go for a job interview. 履历 means resume or CV. 出色 means impressive. So, for example, you graduate from Stanford, Harvard, and you're exactly what the company is looking for. So they are very impressive, and that's why you get to go to the job interview. And they will say, 你嘅履历好出色 Next, 做得好 great job or good job. 做得好 great job or good job. 做得好，做 is to do， 好 is good， so you have done it very well。做得好 ，good job。Next， 呢件外套好衬你 ，that jacket looks nice on you。呢件外套好衬你 ，that jacket looks nice on you。外套，外套 is jacket， it looks nice on you。好衬你 ，but literally it means it goes well， it match you very well。So um, it looks good. 好衬你 Next, 你好有品味 You have good taste. 你好有品味 You have good taste. 品味 is taste, or sometimes we say tasty. That is the long word from English. 你好有 taste, or 你好有品味 Next, 你嘅笑容好靓 Your smile is beautiful. 你嘅笑容好靓 Your smile is beautiful. 笑容 smile， 靓 is beautiful or pretty， so 你嘅笑容好靓。Your smile is beautiful. Everybody is prettier when they smile, so always smile. <laughs> Next， 你好靓 ，you look gorgeous。你好靓 ，you look gorgeous。So as we mentioned， 你好靓仔 is for a guy， you are handsome。And 你好靓女 is for a girl. So 你好靓 and 你好靓女 are pretty similar. It both means that you're pretty, you're beautiful. So that's it for today. Today we talked about top ten compliments you always want to hear. Do you have any compliments that you like to use or you always hear? Let us know in the comment section. Please subscribe and check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com. And I'll see you next time. I'm Olivia. Hi guys, welcome back to Cantonese Top Words. I'm Olivia, and today we're going to talk about ten sad words. Sad. So here we go. Some fan yi lun upset. Some fan yi lun upset. Some means hard. Fan is troubled. Yi is mind. Lun is messy. So my heart and my mind is troubled and it's messy. It means upset. Like I'm just really upset. In a sentence, 收唔到男朋友嘅电话，令佢心烦意乱，冇办法集中精神做嘢。She was upset and could not concentrate on her work because her boyfriend did not call her. 听到呢个消息，我好心烦意乱。I'm very upset hearing that news. Next, 伤心 hurt. 伤心 hurt. Some is to be injured. Some is hard. So your heart is injured. So you are hurt. 妈妈发现个仔吸毒，非常伤心。The mother was hurt deeply when she found out her son was taking drugs. Say no to drugs. 
So, 伤心，妈妈好伤心。The mother is hurt. Mother is hurt deeply. Next, 寂寞 lonely. 寂寞 lonely. 寂寞，冇朋友嘅人最寂寞。The person without any friend is the loneliest. 冇朋友 ，without friends, like no friends， 嘅人 ，the people， 最 the most 寂寞 ，lonely。冇朋友嘅人最寂寞。The person without any friends is the loneliest. 悲伤 ，sad. 悲伤 ，sad. 战争只会为人类带嚟悲伤。The war only brings sadness to human beings. There are way too many wars that bring sadness to human beings. All the wars, 战争 is war. 战争只会为人类带嚟悲伤。War only brings sadness. Next, 凄凉 miserable. 凄凉 miserable. 凄凉 miserable. This is very、um, colloquial. We use it a lot in speech, but not that much in writing. Although you can still use it. So in a sentence, 凄凉做乜佢喊得咁凄凉 Why did he cry so miserably? For example, if a kid got lost on the street, he'll probably cry a lot, and the other people might say, "Jo ma ko ham da gam chai le," and they will try to help. <laughs> Next, ham to cry, ham to cry, ham ham. 细路仔食唔饱就会喊 The kid will cry when he is hungry. Ham. 你细个系咪成日喊 Did you cry a lot when you were young? Were you a crybaby? Let us know in the comment. Even now, many adults would cry a lot. Next, 灰心 discouraged. 灰心 discouraged. 灰心灰 is gray, like the color gray, and sum is heart. So 灰心 is having a gray heart. It means discouraged. In a sentence, 虽然比赛输咗，但系我哋唔会灰心。Although we lost the game, we did not feel discouraged. That's good. That's good sportsmanship. Next, 唔开心 unhappy. 唔开心 unhappy. 唔、mm, is not like the neg negation. 开心 is happy. So 唔开心 not happy unhappy. In a sentence, 中唔到六合彩，梗系唔开心啦。I did not win the lottery. Of course, I'm unhappy. <laughs> 中唔到六合彩。六合彩 is lottery in Hong Kong. Is the official English name is Mark Six. 六合彩，中六合彩 to win a lottery. Next, 好惨 wretched. 好惨 wretched or miserable. 好惨啊！佢输晒啲钱喺股票市场。He was in wretched conditions because he lost all his money in the stock market. That sucks. That actually happens to a lot of people. They have to claim bankruptcy. They become bankrupt because they lost all their money in the stock market. That's why I don't like buying stock. <laughs> Next, some tone, heartbroken. Some tone, heartbroken. Some is heart. Tone is a、uh, pain or to ache. So some tone is heartache or heartbroken. In a sentence, 俾最好嘅朋友出卖令佢好心痛 He was so heartbroken because he was betrayed by his best friend. 出卖 is betrayed, 令佢好心痛 It makes him very heartbroken, or it makes his heart in a lot of pain. So that's it for today. Today we talked about ten sad words. I hope you never get to use them. Please leave us a comment if you think of any other sad words or ways to cheer up people who are sad. Please subscribe and check out CantoneseClass101.com for the word list. And I'll see you next time. I'm Olivia. Bye bye.